right, so for absolutely no experience, because we've talked about it for a full week, what is the solution you have come up with for <laughs> addressing the being at the bottom of the mine shaft? Or how about this? What are the options that you have in front of you? I'm going to warn and have the owl check the length of the tunnel and if there's an anchoring point at the top, I know that much. Okay, so Rune uh, intends to warg into his owl abacus. Yes. Abacus to fly up the shaft to see the length of it, and then that one. So and then the, I was going to uh, change into a smaller animal just so that the displacer kid didn't have to drag up a whole Lorencia. And because the displacer piece is better at climbing, we would tie the one end of the rope somewhere to the displacer kitten, climb up, and then I would get out of my animal form, tie it to a rock, and then the rope would be laid down for everyone to climb. Okay. So depth assessment, um, an option that involves uh, displacer note and Lorencia going up, you as a wild form, and then tying it up. And then people will be able to climb up. Uh, slight tweak to that. Um, all of your carried equipment, as long as you're cool with this, because I feel like it's a DM rolling, all of your equipment that you're holding when you shift melds into your body. So if we give you all the rope and you put it in your backpack and you shape shift, you don't have to carry the rope. That way, Note won't be burdened while climbing. So it's just now it's just climb check because rope gets heavy, especially when you have 150 feet. I think the problem that we were hitting with that, if I remember correctly, was trying climb to get down. the yeah was getting the rope down to the bottom. The idea was to have me climb down and climb back up. I just know Lawrence is not very strong, so I'd be worried she wouldn't be able to do both okay. of that. So I mean, we tied it to a rock though, just kind of flew. yeah. Well, and it's kind of the 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 2020 or the um. It's the options of it. Like, I definitely rule that when you shape shift, everything you currently have on you shapes shifts into you. That way, you right. end up with like armor and weird crap happens as a result. I think the only reason I was You're having like it, McGonagall? Yeah. yeah, the only reason I was having it tied somewhat to um, the displacer kit was so then we'd have the bottom end already being down there, and then we were just dragging the top end up. That sounds fun. But I, but I also get the not trying to burn me. So right now, let's say we're doing options. One yeah. involves um, you taking the rope up with you while shaped in, probably either climbed up individually, or I think you guys mentioned, or the owl takes you up. Mm -hmm. And then there's the issue of how you're getting it, the rope down. Yeah. There's the option of taking uh, going up with Note while you have the rope on same Note it's himself, and then tie it up when you get there. There's two options. That takes care of the rope. There's also, apparently additional minerals in the cave that could repair the lift. There are additional minerals in the cave uh, that could be sought out that there could be the lift. The lift itself is broken into basically three major fragments and all the minerals not functional. You guys have methods to repair the lift or to um, scrap and downsize the lift. I think that pretty much sums it up. So it's either repair slash downsize the lift and try to float up or get the rope up and climb. Okay. Those are two main. So, now we can do Jeopardy. It was 500 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we should be at about oh, 1,900 unless you're Andrew who just has all of the MVP um, extra points for this. Yes, sure. We'll take it. How do you get to how much per level? 27. So we're close. We're 800 away. So, who wants to try to lift, lift, list off all of the potential patrons? I will. So, uh, Potential Patrons is a representative from House of Crow, which Rune would be a point of contact for. A representative of House of Fortuna, which would, I would be the point of contact to seek that out. Uh, Mend, who is the leader or the organizer, so to say, or so to speak, of uh, the healers in Duodecim. And I believe those were all three of the patrons that we came up with. I don't believe there was another one that we considered as far as a patron that we're going to. Another option is just no patron. Yeah. Uh, huff it. Okay, 25 points. There are the three identified options between last session and this session. was Mender, um, Crow, and Fortuna. Mm -hmm. Here is one for 50. What was the priestess of Loth's name? Elithamora. Jesus Christ, okay. Yes. <laughs> 
specifically unremembered that. Because <laughs> even when you were like, it's a little more, I was like, I'm not remembering that. I specifically wrote That's that scary. one down because I figured that would be asked. Don't call me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Good. E- equally <laughs> tricky question that, unless no one gets it, uh, Lorenzi cannot answer. For 50 points, tricky question. What is Notay's drow name? Azero. That's correct. Because you already answered one. <laughs> like, you got one. For 50 points, tricky question. What is the name of the guy in black armor? Didn't give us a name. Give him a name. You sure? That's Mr. Black. Wait, Mr. Black. <laughs> he didn't give us a name, though. 200 points for cleverness. <laughs> that, that, that name was stated. I, he, we knew he's a devil. But we don't know. Or well, what we assumed he was a devil. But we don't we know. know from a hell realm. I'm gonna go with Bentley. Fifty points to Rune for sticking to it. He didn't give his name. Oh, Mr. Black was coined. Mr. Black is his, <laughs> is his coined <laughs> out of character name, and we are remaining English. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Black is his point of reference. He did not give his name. Gotcha. For absolutely no points, what's the name of the guy who's stuck in hell? Who stuck what? And how? Hi. It's my boy. <laughs> For 25 points and not Ben, what does what did frequently Clyde provide to Ben? Apples. Yes. It's apples. Ones of the cinnamon nature. Mm. For 25 points, you have to name both of them. What are the two predominant characters in Krell's Pressures? The leaders. Krell and Bart. How much were that? 25. Um, for 25 points, what is the main reason why this lady is still alive? Because I feel her. He cured her withdrawal. A withdrawal leave. And also, no one murdered her because she pretended to be already dead. Which is a solid tactic if we're about to get robbed and you pretend that you're already murdered, they won't try to murder you again. Worked for me. <laughs> That's my tactic for if we actually get robbed in the house is pretend it's a murder kill me. I feel like it's a solid tactic. <laughs> it's like she's, she's already been murdered. Don't, don't worry. Don't try to kill her. You never like fake blood on your nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just call it being prepared. For absolutely no point except for being very cool, what did Rune name the new material? Nullicite. Nullicite. Nullicite or Nullicite? Nullicite. Nullicite. Nullify. Um, for 25 points, and I'm going to borrow you from this. What are the name of all four of the magical houses? Yeah, I get what you're now banning. Hearth, Fortuna, Crow. I know the last one, but I can't do that. I mean, you, you weren't barred, you could say it. Yeah, but that's. that's your we also haven't got any. Uh, any uh, trivia points yet? So you go yeah, for steal. I got fifty. Oh, that's right. You got the heart. You got Azeroth. Yeah, I wrote that down because trying to establish bonds. I remember it's like, <laughs> <laughs> God, I remember it's like dragons, like tart things, something. Think, think, of, think of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Start for the team. Keep going. Just guess. Just copy. Just, <laughs> just say it. Hard various. There you go. Yeah. Wait, that was what it was? That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> okay. Not, all right. Don't call him Targaryen. That's licensed by Game of Thrones. That was my point of character. Was from, from 25 points. <laughs> yeah. That was cute. I forgot Harth. I had Targaryen. I only know Crow and Fortuna. The most prominent ones that you've been, you guys have been. Exactly. All right. Here's a tough one. And again, uh, I'll wait till Anthony gets back. I thought you were going to start seeing Lion King. I'm not going to lie. 
Sweet <laughs> man, I got a question for you. Let's run 25 points. When Rafiki's like drinking out of that little coconut fruit, it looks, it looks delicious. amazing. Like he's right. probably got that like wine in there, and he just like cracks it open. Like, <laughs> I'm like what he's is this? Table. <laughs> okay. He's both drinks it in like draws. With so him. what is that? that you're final final question. Okay. And it's two hundred. Final question. Fifty points. Easy easy part of it. What is the name of the intelligence wing of the candles? You really the other one too? Because it's two parter. Sure. And what's the royal family's name? Nope. Crap the of... Vitali. That's correct. Vitali is the royal family yes. line name. What how many? Fifty. Alright, and now we are currently at time check 803, and we're going to start the set the scene. You guys currently are at the bottom of the mine shaft, as has been well illustrated of what this thing currently looks like. It's a 45 degree angle. It's not smooth like glass, how it is a rough, rocky surface of which that platform was able to go down. There's a, a mechanism off the side that had the ability of the rope to tie down to it. Obviously the rope is snapped and there's absolutely no use to you right now, much like that broken platform with most of the minerals having been shaved or cracked off. There are little pieces of rock that float in the air, about five feet off where the minerals are intact and attached to about fist sized pieces of rock. So you have your fantastic mm -hmm. terrain and you've got, what color is, is the cavern? Red and purple. That's correct. What comes from purple? Magic. The crystals? Oh. What comes from red? The oh. fungus or the moss. The moss, correct. So correct, Amundo. What comes from purple? You have a displacer ki kitten. I do have a displacer kitten. You have a very scared uh, female drenched in blood. But not her own blood. Not her own blood. Important. You have a very excited gnome. <laughs> <laughs> You have an owl, a sloth, and four adventures. Go. I'll walk over to the, or bristly walk over to the, the, the female. Be like, don't worry, I will help. Begin casting prestidigitation to try and clean up the, the blood around. So her, her eyes are as big as saucers. Nonverbal, just, you can't tell if it's shaking or nodding. It'll, it'll be all right. Don't worry. In the meantime, I'm investigating the minerals and pieces of the crushed platform. Okay. Little tiny with no strings looking at large pieces of rock. Don't have to move them. Some of them are on the back. I tie, <laughs> I tie the groups of rope together and then hand it to Lorenzo. Okay. I think we're ready to leave. So, all right, then I'll I mean, it's out of character statement. Um, I think we need to have, um, we need to have the owl look and see if there is somewhere to tie off the rope. And if there is something of a good weight that I could tie to the end of the rope, I'm fine with doing that plan so that I can get down to you guys. Uh, that just wouldn't involve her climbing down and climbing back up. Is there a way you can say that in character? You have seen his owl, okay. you've seen him work with the owl. This will help you gotcha. work with your team, too. Rune, Ru is there any way that you can see through your owl to see if I can tie the rope anywhere and possibly a weight to help the rope get down? An excellent plan, a scouting mission. Yes, Listen I can do his advocates to scout. Uh, please ensure my body is not eaten by spikes. <laughs> I take out my crossbow. <laughs> Fair enough. And then I look at Nota. Are you ready to dance? We need to protect him. Also, I turn around. Also, <laughs> side note, <laughs> and I just mentioned that, make sure he does not eat me also. <clears throat> I, I will regale him with a dance. What if and I start just performing. Just for taste. Just, a, just for Maybe taste. just one night. I'd rather have not have a taste And I, I got cross pose in both hands like, and I let one go on accident. Oh, shit. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Gnomes are not. Nota's back and was like, I'm going to give you up. Let you. On that note, they're gonna eat you while you're working at the ground. Okay, you are you are out into your owl. You're your screech owl now. We don't. Flying up the I'm flying up the debris covered tunnel and checking the terrain 
to find out, like, how, trying to keep, like, an idea of how far I'm going up. Okay, and, so you, like, where the tunnel ends. Sure. So it's for a trajectory angle, approximately. So a very steep slope upwards. And you don't have a way of really gauging distance as flying is now. However, you fly up and you can assume that the rope you have is going to be, you know, rather satisfactory. Mine works in increments of like 60, 100, 200. So you feel pretty good. Um, you make your way up there with your owl. You see, you know, the top looks like just the way you left it. There's that uh, the crank, uh, the mechanism that the rope would attach to. It's still there, hanging out, not doing a whole lot. It would make a great place to tie off to. Okay. I'm going to roll a quick perception check up there to see if there's anything else out of the ordinary, like, I don't know, death monster of some kind. That I don't, um, don't need to roll. There's no death monster up there. It, okay. uh, as when you walked in a while ago, as it was a couple sessions ago, the entrance to these caves um, required someone to uh, let them in because okay. it was sealed. Also, similarly to getting out because, you know, spiders go up pretty bad degree angles pretty easily and then just raid the city. Well, yes. Fine. So it's warded. Okay. So nothing's up there of death proportion, and you do not perceive anything as an owl that consumes you. So you're good. Okay. So fly back down as Abacus and exit. Okay. You're now an owl. You're okay. warded. <clears throat> so uh, after the scouting expedition, uh, I believe the rope we have should be sufficient, and the uh, the best place to anchor it would probably be on the original winch that the original rope was attached to. Is there any weight for the end of the rope? You did not perceive that. Did not see anything that would be useful for that. Maybe. I'm still dancing in the corner. <laughs> Kenton just like, you know, like I guess. Little, little tentacles. Question of of Emma. Um, if I were to tie the rope to myself rather than tying it to Note, would all the like would that work for climbing up? Rather than having like to tie it to him, or would it I don't know, absorb into my body weirdly? So, so I'm gonna take the way it's worked with uh, equipment. Okay. Um, it will absorb into you, and then it's gonna cut off if you're trying like leaving a leash. That is my question. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have a long, weird panther tendril. Uh huh. <laughs> just coming out of your stomach, just you know, because you're tied there. It's fine. Okay. That was that was my question. So I'm gonna go towards. Note and talk to him. Let him kind of. He's kill. busy looking at Kenton. Una Note. I didn't know you could dance. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm a novice, but you know, I enjoy it. So, just like to move. And okay, I just careful. These guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Note I'm sorry. these guys tentacles in the air like you don't care. <laughs> yeah, Note. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go up to Note like. All right, Note, we need to get up to the top of this hill. Can you help us? I think that's a yes. I mean, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's just I mean, I can understand him. Uh, you can't. He meows at you. He meows as a meow. Okay, so I want to let him know. I'm sorry. I'm going to change into something smaller. I can speak with all fascinating creatures. So that I can be on your back, and we're going to climb up that hill. Well, you don't know my wife. He looks at like the or, the or big or sloping hill. Hey, did you? Like, I was what? dancing with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to change, and we're gonna get up this hill. Can you do that? What? He's he's an intelligent creature, but you are doing some advanced concepts. Like, I'm go as a as a as an elf, I'm become not elf. Just let that sell in your little brain for a second, <laughs> child child cunning creature. Um, and then I want you to climb up this with me on top of you. So he has gotten as far as you want. You want something, and he is cat. Okay. Can you climb up this hill? Yeah, maybe. Could you do it with me on your back? He looks you up. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do it if I was smaller? Um, so he walks up to the gnome and takes his large paw and like puts a paw on room. <laughs> Do not eat anything. <laughs> One of his many. So he's just like normal. He's got six legs. He's Remember? One of them. Gnomes are not food. So it's like this big? 
I'm going to find a rock that's roughly squirrel sized and hold it up. I yell out from in the corner. Oh, I can't get a high five when you do. What is that? This is bullshit. This is uncomfortable. That's what this is. This is uncomfortable. Oh, uh, he 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 nods. Okay. His panther-like head, his glowing white red eyes, yeah. as they do. They're just place beasts. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to tie this rope to you. I will get smaller, and we're going up this hill. Okay, go ahead and roll persuasion. <laughs> and you can also roll animal handling together with it. A seven for persuasion. Also a seven for animal handling. Okay. Fun fact, animal handling had a plus five. So, <laughs> Note looks at this thing, and he's just like, he sits. Just seems he's all tuckered out today. Maybe uh, Apicus could help you. Seems very uh, compliant. I do not believe the owl could carry the rope. Just an observation. It's very tiny. Though. Oh, not the rope. The squirrel. He could carry a squirrel. I'll learn shit. All right. And that seems like our best option. I totally did not mean to tire out Note with dancing. Just so you guys know, that was accidental because I'm such a good dancer. Just innocently, just clean his face. I okay. can't say you're good, but well, you're better the, than me. The question is how we get the rope back down. Oh, she'll climb back down. I heard tales about the elves. They're very nimble. They can... Scale trees in a matter of seconds. Right? We're super dexterous. Not very strong. Short trees, yes. Long hills, oh, no. It looks <laughs> just like a bunch of little trees on a hill. Think of it like that. <laughs> sure, you can find it's much easier. There's plenty of rocky places to stop. We could torpedo the owl down. How about I give you one of my hand crossbows and you shoot the rope down the hall? I don't believe that will work. Why? Or, well, because in that, the rope is rather heavy and crossbow bolt is rather small. We could fashion something. Would that like, work for an arrow? Just a regular bow and arrow that I have? Yes, that would be even better. I've seen it this It turns tactic. out that Lorenzia has a hidden skill. She doesn't share with the party. A bow and arrow? We were about to give you a crossbow, yeah? What? Well, you see me shoot? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I assumed you guys saw me shoot things with my bow and arrow. I totally did not well, think about your bow and arrow because you are so magical and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> a good 15 on perspective. <laughs> like, okay. Then I will try to well, shoot the arrow, arrow down. Well. Will your owl try to eat the squirrel? No, he's smarter than the cat. Is he smarter than the cat? The thing to know about this is that. <laughs> also, I directly control this one with my mind. Little, right. little tentacles are. No, Tay, stand back. There's no. Yeah, no, Tay. The, the cat you don't control with your mind. Uh, Abacus is an astral construct that I control with my mind. He Short answer, me. no. Here we go, team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will turn to Ben. Like, I am putting No Tay in your hands. Please don't let anything happen to him. Have yeah, my word. Kenton's got a hand in his. I volunteer to keep dancing. <laughs> yes, as long All as you right. keep the, the cat over there. Thank you. So, you guys have the rope. We are putting it. I, in I tied the rope together. Here you go. And I've you know, they, have like 150 feet of rope. And I like throw that in. I guess will it fit in my bag? No, here, here, here. Whatever way to get I wrap it around you. Very just 150 feet right around. Well, I just stand there that. and question my life decisions. As I'm getting wrapped by a rope. So how big are these floating mineral chunks? Still wrapping. <laughs> Depends. Hey, what do you want with that information? <laughs> there you go. You're good. Take, All right. Belt, nice. tie I give you a tap on the back. Thumbs up. Loose. You're clear for takeoff. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. So I will squirrel. Danger zone. Squirrel. All right. Lorencia right is a rocks. squirrel. They're so cool. And she is running oh, around waiting for an owl to get her because otherwise she's just a squirrel. 
Anybody? Where did she go? Um, Wait, what happened? Uh, scroll down. Where did Lorenzo go? The, 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 um, she has turned into I'm a squirrel. She turned into the squirrel? Oh, yeah. All elves can do that. Uh, really? Just, apparently, yeah. yes. Oh, my sure. God. I forgot about it back when I was in school. Abacus, I need um, to make some elves. She's going to go over to... What other kind of animals can she be? Abacus, uh, take, take the squirrel up to where I took you earlier and, and drop it off. Do not eat the squirrel. <laughs> right. There you go. This is this is your life now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eagle. <laughs> <Cow. laughs> oh, Squeech. Oh. Squeech. Squeech. Oh. All right. So Abacus gets a good running start. Grabs up Lorencia like she was a meal. Because fairly accurate person. Um, flies up. You are soaring. You got like the ground beneath you. Your tail gets grazed a few times and he swoops low. Not a very big owl. It's not a big owl. So with the added weight, you're kind of like water skiing in some <laughs> points. You make it to the very top. Okay. Oh. Okay, now you've got an owl in your head. So you've got like World of Final Fantasy going on. That's fine. <laughs> she, she can function like that. That's okay. okay. You, got, you got an owl so in your head. So like she's trying to, she unties the rope. Unwraps it around Unwraps herself, which takes some time. Yes. Unwrapping. Un so, what are you going to fasten the rope to? The options you have up here, you're on a like a landing. There is the mechanism off the right that was moved the rope and the platform, which has a little bit of rope left on from where it snapped, assumingly. Um, and that there is what the owl saw. That's what Abacus saw. Yes. Correct. Yeah. There's also a, a door leaving, which is wide enough for like it's 10 feet wide. So you can okay. leave with big people or a hall. So I'm going to tie it to the mechanism because that seems better than a doorway. Okie dokie. So you tie one end to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to take out an arrow, tie the other end to the arrow. Mm -hmm. We probably shouldn't stand near the end just in case, guys. Roll to hit. Over here. <laughs> very good point. Over here, guys. Over here. No so day. Over here. What you roll? Ben, oh, ben, ben. Well, she's quick, quick. Out. Let me Quickly. get you there. She's like, watch out, arrow ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and then you do, do I just need to roll and roll see? Roll to hit. Yeah, what do you just know what you roll? A rock somewhere. Do I, do I do that to like my... A rap As though you were trying to hit a monster. A rap a ho? Is that what? What do you? Did you hear that voice? What was that? Why would you rap a ho? I'm hitting not. I don't know. I heard something. This game doesn't really well. Why would you rap a ho? Is that? Prepare yourselves. There might be another beast on its way. A rap a ho. Okay. So you guys see this arrow get shot from your end. You see the tension unspoil, like so many action movies, and then reach an end, and then there's tension. You guys see, you hear an arrow clang, and it's about 10 feet up the slope. Oh, that's perfect. So 10 feet is like an equivalent one story. Well, far. here we go. And I sheathe my crossbows. What, what, what are we doing about this creature? I'm also going to yell, no take, come up to me. Or climb the, climb the hill up to me. Uh, no take looks at Ben, Ben, Juan, Uncle Kenton. Time to go for a trip there, little guy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Meow, 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 meow. And I, I'm saying meow, 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 meow. And I grab the robe and I'm meow, 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 meow. Does anyone have some food? Meow. Maybe that would be a better incentive. I still have a spider leg. I was bonded. He did. I do have rations. So I'll pull I've the given spider leg up from behind I you. I take a ration and throw it up like 100 feet away. I know he can't see that. That's why it's like it's, it's zero incentive. Like that? Well, well, maybe just... Well, technically, with 150 feet because that's how much rope you have. We don't have like spider legs. Does mm -hmm. anybody have a spider leg left? He ate mine already. So, so I take a ration and throw it up the hill. He looks at it. <laughs> it's good 45 grams to roll back down. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls back down and he's like. <laughs> kind of dab my fingers in the blood on the ground. You like that, Note? <laughs> he's, eating, he's eating spider leg. <laughs> you are going oh, okay. to lose a finger that way. Yeah, careful. Uh, sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> so you had questions earlier about these rocks, about Ghent specifically. Are you trying to solve how to get Ghent up? 
No, I am de try I'm determining if I would be able to strap one of myself to one of these rocks and make it easier to climb up this hill. Oh. I mean, you could use it like a floaty. Sure. Yeah, that's fun. You're small enough. You could just grab one and hold on. <laughs> You'll be doing a balancing act. <laughs> well, the plan was to take Gent's belt, since he no longer needs it, okay. and then strap that around the rock, and then strap that around myself, and then pull myself up with the rope. So are you willing to... Oh, okay. You're, are you willing to say that if you're going to move around, that belt could come loose? <laughs> well, I'm pulling myself up with the rope anyway. Exactly. So Andrew, there's, there's a flotation sure. device, yes. You can use... The gnome, you will have no problem taking off a belt, oh fastening yourself, oh just grabbing one of the rocks, fastening it, and then it's like floating. Someone will have to get you to the, the wow. 10 feet because it's five, feet, five feet of difference. So someone will have to tug you to the rope. I, I will grab one of the 10 to the belt. Do you want okay. to? No, no, I'm okay. Could be another bottle. Oh, yeah. What's happening? I am floating, and I need you to pull you me. Are how are you floating? He took a chunk of rock about the size of a basketball. I'm asking him. Okay. I, I have tied so myself cool. to one of the minerals from the... Um, from the cart that got us down here, and I am using that as a flotation device to make this much easier on myself. Is there any minerals left under there? I don't believe you are small enough for them to yep. be able to. Is there any left though that you haven't taken on my belt? Yes. Oh, I open my backpack and put the rest of the minerals in. Push, push them down to the <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you push them. You're like, I, really, yeah, I got you. You just I got you. Mm. You are like swimming. I'm like. Prod you until you get to the sort of con. All right, you get you you get pro you get prodded by a quarterstaff up to the rope. <laughs> you you can grab your rope. You can pull your start pulling yourself. Out. Plan a rousing success. Cool. Um, quick sit rep on the female. Sure. How's she looking physically? Um, she's. I remember we left them without in not walking condition. Yeah, she's she's weak. Climbing would probably be a challenge for her. Um, she Rune, Rune, how about lending the flotation device to the person that can't walk? Well, I know what you're going to say, but hear me out. You can have my share of the quartz. The problem, I would be no problem using it to help the hindrance, but the problem is there's not enough of it to be able to carry a person of her side. Damn side. Sure. All right. Well, here we go. How oh, did you plan on repairing with, the other pieces? Yes, not without many hours worth of work to create a platform and other things to be able to be able to carry her. It's it's fine. I'll, I'll help her. You guys coming? Working yeah, on it. Coming, coming through. Uh, let's make on? sure. Let's tie. Let's tie the rope to her in case so she can't fall and just go all the way down and kill herself. I mean, you can't send feet up. So you have to get to the rope first. We have to get her to Let's climb. Yes. Right. We're get, I'm getting to that. I'll, I'll go last. Go ahead. Sure. I believe Note is young and impressionable enough. Children hate being alone. Hopefully he'll follow. Yeah, if not... We've got a rope, so we can do that I again. I can hear this. I cannot. You cannot. Excuse me? This is way too low to Should, If Note won't come up, we can have... Believe me, he, he will. Okay. It's a dark, scary world down here. It's a dark, scary... Hit hit. I can't hear you, I'm fine. <laughs> I just look at the floor. Alright, right. first, and I'll be... Given your natural cool. speed, you can just run and kind of... Uh, I'll be helping the uh, female. Oh, in that case, make a flex check. Prior to me. Try to send a message to the rest of the team. Okay, that's not working out for you. It's not. You're trying, you're just not getting your footing, you're falling back down. I come over and help boost the rope. Okay, so... All right, here, just get on my back, and I bend over and put my shield on my back so it's like an easy step ladder for them to get up. Please take her instead. Well, yeah, I'm t asking you to help, um, help her climb up Oh, yes. My back, so you both can easily get up there, and then I'll jump up and follow you. So I get down on my knees, mm -hmm. with so it's just an easy step ladder for you guys to move up. Boost, sweet, yes, boosting. Okay, so roll, roll again. Standard and military training. It's a first year team tactics. Net twenty. Yeah. Okay, no problem. She's she's on rope. Thank you. And you're on rope. It's it's it was done. Great momentum. Did 
Can you do it? Uh, Rune, over here. Yeah. And I <sighs> push him towards the road. Oh, you're already floating. Yeah, yeah. Rune's already like just tugging well, his way to freedom. Yeah. Am I Sweet within baby like, 120 Jesus. feet of Lorenti at this point? Huh? Am no, I? you've got a ways to go. Okay. You're just, like, basically like a flotation tube on water, just making your way to the boat. I'm going to try and use my momentum parkouring up to the rope to use my, af my acrobatics skills as opposed to just straight strength and jumping up. All right, so you're going to hardcore parkour off the wall. Go ahead and roll acrobatics. So it begins. <laughs> you fall. That one. That one. All right. It's well, two, two. Just. We're doing so good. You uh, <laughs> hardcore parkour with great flourish. And you definitely twist something, so you take four points of damage. Uh, You're like, I got this. It's like, I'll I'll kick off this way. I'll kick off the wall. That I'll get a little bit of run in. I'll just so you you kick off and you stumble and you like head. Yeah, you face my. This is embarrassing. Fortunately, no one can. Ten. <laughs> that rock wasn't sturdy. I miscalculated. Be right there. Do you need me to craft your? Be right there. there. Notes eats. Sorry, starts eating his. Uh, puts down his. Spider leg, and he gets a running start. He starts to doop, 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 and starts to doop, 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 up the um the angle. And as he starts to pass you and the lady, you can see his claws are kind of like digging into the rock. Just he's significantly stronger than all of us. And he's got six six legs to go through, so he's just like a centipede. Just that is one cool. I knew we should have made a floating cart attached to the cat. But... Uh, we shouldn't always think about the paths we didn't take, but the one we're on, right? Or if he was willing to drive the cart. So, Kenton, all alone. I would like to take some loose rocks to build a stepladder or some sort of boosting mechanic to where you're, I can kind of... You're getting plenty of them between all the rocks that like he uh, notates, just like dislodging on his way up. Right, so I start building a kind of uh, step or pedestal to get to the rope easier. Sure. And then I attempt again to grab the rope. Go ahead and roll off. Thanks. <laughs> not a one? Five. But not a one? Oh wait, one. no, athletics... Seven. Okay. You, you get close, and then no. At this point, Rune, you can see Lorencia. Okay. Lorencia, you can see Rune. Just floating his way up. Well, I was going to send a message that the cat was not coming, but he has already passed me, so <laughs> that is a moot point. He passed them. He's pa well, now he's passed you. So it's you like see <laughs> both Note and, and Rune. Because he slows down after his initial momentum. I will pause my ascent. The noting Kenton is not behind. Okay. Well, the lady is just like, she's all shaky. But she's like, I don't, it's like, you have to keep it down if I can hold on. Let's just wait. Please. Okay. She okay. tries to, to twine the, the robe around her arm, just kind of like rest there. Kenton, are you coming? Trying moment! I take a moment to study the wall, the angles, and notate <laughs> where if my pedestal is put in the right position, my feeble body will be able to climb up this stupid 10 feet of rock. Do you want some inspiration? And then I also look at how I would attack somebody on an incline and use that to my you advantage have to get through as well. The, the, the woman behind you. Oh, she's behind me. I thought she was did you take one away? Oh, I didn't use that. You're right. She's in front of you because you pushed her up. So she's in front of you. Did you take it away? I don't know. About to. Depends. Injured. Depends on if you roll well enough to get to the rock. Brain blast <laughs> moment. Deep in thought, a quarter staff is shoved in your face. Come on, kid. So he wakes his way back down and quarter staffs you. Okay. So you're, you. While you're thinking about go ahead and roll. While, while you're thinking about all the angles. If that's in that twenty, that'd be hilarious. Ten. Okay. So while you're thinking about all the angles, you do. You have the best chance to descend. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's for certain in this world. Like the quarter staff that's now in front of your face. <laughs> Just take the stick. One, one moment. Okay. 
<laughs> you see, you see Kenton, or you see me. Look at the angle. Look at the quarter staff. And the quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're on your way up, ascending this most difficult of forty-five degrees. <laughs> Rune, you make your way up first, um, followed by Note. When Note comes up, I'm going to give him the spider load that I was going to throw down at him. He's, he's not interested. He's just he's eight. He's not. I didn't know. Eight, I didn't know. He's like, nah. Just cleans himself. Um, followed by the, the lady. She makes her way up. She just kind of like lays on the ground. It's exhausted. Um, followed by Ben and then Kenton. You are now at the very top. You have defeated the 45 degree angle challenge. <laughs> Still floating. Water break. <laughs> Please. You're telling me Lurch had it easy. She just got a free ride. I got... actually wasn't that bad with what I had to do either. I start stretching. Just stay out of strands. Rune says while still floating around attached to the rock. Is everyone up? Everyone's up. Except for Kent. I'll begin untying. Yeah, I'm like, we need to start getting Can't leave a good back. rope. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, everyone's rope. Let's re yeah. uh, requisition our ropes back. Okay, well, mine was the light brown one because it hasn't been used as much. So let's just keep things to us. Did you guys grab my arrow? It's probably still attached to <laughs> No! no! <laughs> well, yeah, it's still attached. That's okay. I'm like, because it didn't hit anything, so it's the very end of the rope. Well then. Well, you now have your rope back. You now are in a room. <laughs> well, two two options really. Back down. <laughs> Let's go. Or out. out. Definitely not the first one. Here, Rune, I'll uh, try and help the undo your. I can undo the belt and just fall, I guess. Thump. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with that now, but okay. I'm standing up, and as I get to one knee, I turn to Ben. Day and a half. Half a day ahead of schedule. I told him. You said two days. I said one to two. You said two days. I provided a range. You said two days. You also said that no one would die. You did say that. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Both of you. Nobody's <laughs> died. Yeah. Um, Ghent was not a part of the original. The other slave. We, 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 other slave is alive. Slave. Well, yeah. he's missing. Where presumed dead. Oh, no, oh, no, he was missing. He's well, missing. He's MIA, not KIA. Missing, presumed dead would be what I would say. Well, we can always return. We now have the confidence and tactical yes. knowledge of this cavernous. I've made a map in case we need you, to come back. You think being the one who was <laughs> shot in the chest twice, you would be more wary of drow than the rest of us, but well, okay. You live and you learn. That's how the rest of us... Well, if the stories the drow tell are true, he's most certainly a slave, probably for the rest of his life. What little he has left. Going forward, though, before we leave this room, Still we should alive. all kind of make a pact to make sure we don't say anything about the Nellicite without each other being in on this decision. Agreed. Because we do not want the city to be cursed. What, what was that? The we also don't want to be assassinated. Elithamora? Agreed. She uh, she said she was gonna curse this whole city. So let's not tell anyone about this right now. I mean, I am all for that. The curse? <laughs> <laughs> not telling anyone. Telling us what? Not telling other people about the Melissa. That goes for you too, Nente. <laughs> I find that Thank the you. more that people know, the less, er, the more likely you are to get some unfavorable people that will use it for their own gain. Side note, no one saw us go into the cage with a giant black cat. Would there be questions? I mean, I'm not bringing the cat into the city, so why would they have we, to we question? Have, you an option? Where are we, we going? We have to go in. She can't, like, just stay in the outline. Yeah, well, so. let's put it this way. Um, the way you came in was through, <laughs> an un, an, the, through the mountain tram, which was entered from so the city. So we had gone the tram with the... Gotcha. I feel like a lot of people are going to have questions regardless, but all I have to do is just have him growl at them, and then I feel like I'll stop asking questions. All answers you will be do. quelled by the fact that we have a box full of nephocyte and nobody has died. Agreed. Let us shift the focus not to what creatures we've brought, what but to the financial deeds we've done. Oh, if you enter uh, 
um, a city that there would be some red tape. It's a very law-based city, and there are guards. So just saying, here's Box Nuts' site. I mean, we'll go so far. Would I know a law that would allow me to bring back Yes, if you have a license for a rare pet. Do I have one within the contract? No. Do I have, what's my company have it? Probably. Okay, we can work with that. So my or have the ability to get one. My company would have the ability to get one. We can say that we gained it on the expedition, and that it is a... Would that make it a company asset at that point? Yes. It would make it my asset. Yes, but you're not the leader of the company. True. What would your friend Krell do if he got his hands on a displacer piece? He would not get his hands on one because we won't tell what him. What are the it. options for? I know we have to go on the tram to get to the city. But I agree. Is there an option for her to then kind of stay on the outskirts from there, or do I have to go directly into the middle of the city where we'll most likely see guards? You'd have to. You'd have to go directly. This is a very regulated place. Multiple checkpoints. Yep. Lots of eyes. Lots of eyes. Lots of checkpoints. Which is why, if we go through, I can say that it's a company asset, and once we get out of the tram, I can take you immediately to the gate and have you leave with Note, and then we can worry about the rest later. Although, I don't know where to get a license offhand so quickly. I know that we have access to them, but I know that... It's not easy to get them. This is why you don't go into cities. Well, not everyone can speak with beasts. Otherwise, they will be eating people. I'm afraid to say options are very limited. Okay. Most people don't bring giant monsters back from the caves. Oh, That's he's not that big. He's, 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 he's a very good dancer. I meant no. Of equivalent size. That will give me time to get a raven, and then I will stay near the outskirts so that you can get me, hopefully, with something that will make it so that no table will not feel so discriminated against in the city. Can we disguise him? Okay. How are we getting this through a checkpoint? Has that been yeah, a good okay. question? Thank you. Because the checkpoint has a lot of eyes. They're going to say, what the fuck? What are we saying to that? I'm going to say that I discovered this on a uh, mission and, a con and show them the contract. And then once I display the contract, I'll say that this is also part of the company assets that we were able to acquire in the mine because it's a baby and we're going to imprint it and use it for company uh, use. What is to stop them from grabbing your company in excitement and then taking him away? I will say the beast perished up outside of the mines and that it was not suitable to be able to be used outside of the mines. Okay, that makes sense. We can also just say it ran away, it got loose, it's a wild animal, yada yada. I'm sure people will buy that. Yes, and you have to pay for it. But yeah. Damages. So that will... Wait, we'd have to pay for it? Good. Damages. Because he would have lost an asset. If he's saying that the Displacer Beast is an asset, he would then... Krell, who hates it, could very well be like, oh great, you lost me uh, an exotic creature? Cool, the exotic creature, if I were to buy one, would cost me 500 gold, you now have to buy it. Right, go through Bart. Obviously. <laughs> ben. Welcome back. We have discussed this before. I don't go to Crow for anything unless I need to be berated. Like I've stolen something out of my Why father's closet. Why do you need to be berated? Exactly my point, Room. Okay. Excellent. So, um, DM Cliff statement. Are you going to go out with Note just... Wild and free, looking like just a random creature, not domesticated or under control at all. Could fashion a harness with a leash. It would be best if it was if you held some sort of tether to the beast to appear to be under control of it. Okay. So I will get on my knees and look at Note. Like, Wait, I'll get full email. Okay. We need to get you into the forest. But to do that, I need to put a harness on you. Okay? Which translates to... 
Uh, <laughs> is, it, is that a no? Is he going to eat me because I suggested like, a harness? Don't yeah. eat me, no tag. If we don't do this, you could be killed. Or taken and turned into an attack dog. I mean, it's not Please. A possibility. I'm trying to protect you. I mean, ask him if he wants to go back in the mines. I mean, we, he can stay here if he wants. He doesn't have to come with us. Um, they might eat him. I don't know. Just... He rolled... Persuasion and animal handling. It went so well before. Do people eat this point of pieces? Uh, you might well, be find out see, but I think you can eat anything, any kind And of 20 it's for just animal handling. Taste good. Okay, so really although Note clearly does not like this idea at all, he doesn't say that he won't do it. She doesn't like the idea either. But she knows it needs to be done. So then I'll fashion some sort of harness to put him in that makes it seem like he is domesticated. Okay. That is still comfortable for him. So Lorenzo is busy so putting a rope harness on Note. If all goes well, we get through the checkpoint. No real questions asked and present the box of meth side to your company. I'll leave that to you actually. I do well with finances. All right. Everybody. First things first, to the lift. We had slamming buttons. That's always a plus. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Rude is my brother. He can't hear me. Where where do, are we meeting back up, or are we all going our separate ways? Where should I procure payment for your shares? I will. Definitely need to tend to the wounded. Depends on what time it is. Hmm. Right well, now. It, if only someone had a clock. Checking the time. <laughs> Checking the time. All oh, right, because it says about 10 o'clock. It's about 10 p.m. currently. And what does that mean as far as the day? It's about evening time. Oh, okay. I'll probably have to retire to the healer's tent for the night. Would I be aware of where his tent is? It's directly outside. You can't mess it. Okay. Is it closer to the this woods area, or is it pretty much like right in the center of the? No, tent? it's on the outskirts. Okay. Please continue. So I will ask him if would I would I have an idea of where it is? So for part of my okay. I would like to have at least part exactly. of the wall outside. I will, do, I will do what I can. Um, I will say that while Duo Dustin has laws, there are some who subvert these laws. Mine so if we would be tent. Okay. Closest gates. Okay. So I will I want to tell uh, Ben once I get to the uh, forest and I'm able to get a raven to talk to Evelyn, I will try to get near your tent. The tent's always open. Before we go, to fit inside. Before everyone goes their separate ways, Duodecim is a city of laws, but there are those who subvert these laws. Criminals and known vagrants know that people go in to come out with nethocyte, and they know when you come out with a box of nethocyte and you are still alive that there should be something in there. So if we could stick together until I am safely at the point where we can offload it, so nothing unbeknownst would happen to the what we risked our lives for, I would appreciate that. But if not, I understand. Well, I was fully attempting to come, uh, intending to come to you until we had received payment. Okay. I, I just want to make... I would be all for that if it would not mean the possible prisoning of Note. Okay, so that's a good point. So, so you just head to the gate as quickly as possible, and we will move to the top. So I believe the full return of the death site does include profit for ourselves, correct? Yes. About how much would you be able to, to guess? Perhaps we could buy off Note. Or buy one of those... Crow would never let that happen. I thought we weren't talking to Crow, though. If he... Learns of it. You it mentioned will, it. Is Crow going to be up? We are going. We are going to, we're, we're going to <laughs> it's, it's intimate that he, he the, the beast has got away. 
You so I will be taking that out of my share. I mean, you mentioned a rare pet register. Yes. Could we buy one of those with, I think, not from your company, so that the if so we had a power, if we had a, if we had an influential or powerful friend, maybe. Do you guys have an into? I have trees. Very influential trees. Uh, both Bart and Carl could do that. Mender could do that. Um, an, an individual could do that, but obviously it's more of time. The time is required. I would not personally like to bring anyone from the mercenary company into that, just because I don't know, other than Bart, who would be able to procure that without alerting Krell. I could ask him, but I think there are other avenues that would be safer to note without raising suspicion. You are a great healer. Do you Have you healed any people that maybe could help us, or are you aware of any people that could help us? I might know a few, but I know you're more comfortable in the forest. Perhaps the best course would for you two to return the shipment while I escort Laurentia outside the city walls in as discreet fashion as I can. What is the range? kind of die in this tent too, by the way. What is the scope of my research grant? And my hey. research, like, documents and things like that that I have. Depends. If you're talking about to the letter or to the intent. What, are you trying, what question are you trying to answer? What's your intent? I'm trying to see if I can claim that Note is part of my research and a research asset and therefore untouchable under the protection of House Court. Could we put a cloth over Note and claim that it is an so, injured slave? Let's put it this way. You could you could do that. <laughs> it would be a stretch and be something you would have to persuade and deceit your way through to kind of that's because that's a stretch. You are researching a uh, yeah, something from the earth. We I'm researching versus... Nethocyte, but I'm also researching the effects of Nethocyte, so it could so be the effects of Nethocyte on a magical creature. You could very well try to persuade someone that it is a test subject for Nethocyte. We already have the courts above our heads. Let us not put more attention and deception into the mix, lest we be found out. Find out. course of actions. You are currently, at, at least I'm aware of, going to the tram or at least calling it. The tram itself is much like a, you know, horizontal elevator. I hit the tram button to start heading out to the gate. Okay, so the, the tra well, the tram has to be summoned. So, yeah, we summoned the tram. The tram. Right. So you got some right. mass effect going on your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so while, you, while the, the tram is being summoned, Feel free to continue to converse. I am going to get a refresh. Can you open up the bottle of wine that is in the fridge? The bottle of wine that is stuck. Okay, well, now that you guys know the illusions are my brothers, you got plenty of things to resolve. Short of an invisibility okay. spell, which I don't think Duodecim would be screening for. It. I don't think it would be easy to get through. The guards are. My uh, brother is the illusion. Diligent are still me. men with jobs. Just like everyone in my company, it's late at night. It's not the. It's, they don't want to cause trouble. Cunning enough, you could always bribe them to pretend they did not see the giant evil cat thing. I think there's too many of them to do that. Otherwise, that, that would have been a great suggestion. We don't want to dwindle what we've you know, accumulated. I think. I still think we maintain the beast escaped. We pay off the debt. Yes. I think that's the best course of action. For the rarity of said creature, it could be an enormous debt. I have no need of my portion, but money is pretty much worthless to me. Unless so I'm happy to give my portion, if that is what it would take, to make sure that he is okay and free. I think the uniqueness of the animal can be hidden from those who don't see such things often, so it could be just a regular creature within the mines that they don't have to know how exotic or unique Note is, which could offset I some of the costs. I feel like the tentacles might give him away. Have, yeah, have, have, extra wrap, arms. have him wrap them around his body and try to hide them. If he wraps them around his body, then I mean, he still has his six legs. Well, there are many crazy things that come out of the mines. 
We do, it just... Oh, I can get maybe all the help. If we had like a cloak, we could put a cloak over it and pretend he's just a really large dog. And then they can... Are you trying to say that he was an injured? Hmm. Well, I, I, I don't maybe if we I put a question over it. Maybe oh. if, they were top, if they had spent the night at the tavern drinking. We put the cloak over it and pretend he's a very large dog. And it's one that says, like, oh, it's fairly disfigured. Don't look at it. Don't want to look at the disfigured thing that now is fair. Um, if we had, like, a... If that is your like one of dog training. training. Oh, I'm not look at smart. That is just why. She's not going to come up with good ideas. Yeah. So, like, so a stretcher or something, we could put them on me. That might work. Somehow, I don't Except think... Except if a tentacle came out of the sheep, we would be in deep shit. You are also trusting that, but it won't be. We have, we have no way of hiding uh, he's got a little case of the stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think we have anything that we can hide. You can always not take the tram back. I, if I remember correctly, I think that's the only way back. Well, we're how close are we to the woods from the tram? I mean, we could you jump off the tram like that way? You could ask, like, are we near... Well, it, like, levitates off rock, so... Well, I'm trying to see, like, are we near the woods now? Could you just slip into the woods and then meet us near the town and not actually do a cool tram? So see if there's another way out of the mountain besides the tram. And then we just pretend we lost our companion in the woods. <laughs> that would work. I don't know. How long would it take to find a route out? Yes, I, I don't, don't. What was your thought, uh, Andrew? So, people don't like that to say, especially because there's no known. People actually, well, well, true. you may like that to say. The guards keeping people from that side poisoning, or not keeping people, but the people who watch the gates and see the horrors that come out of these. Case. Yeah. Great, sir. They don't want any of this poisoning. I mean, if you walked, if you approached with an open box, they'd probably shoot you dead. So I might be able to recreate the feeling that this beast is heavily dosed within the site. An amount that would be dangerous just to stay around. To a degree that perhaps they'd expedite our discharge from the mines. I would then very likely be able to claim it's a test. You could. We could still maintain the beast escape. I think there's still multiple routes we could go through this, but the main point being, nobody wants to be near an ethicite. Oh, nobody wants to be near a creature oh, great heavily world. poisoned with an ethicite. Dungeon Master, thank you very much. I Other think that that is had. a better plan than having us beholden to the company yeah. for anything. We could claim it as a research for a room. Because it is infected by nethocyte. There is and then it could the be lost to go down. A research asset lost would not incur penalties, correct? Are, are there woods no. that I could just See, go off I would just play that the tree die from the poisoning and we got rid of it. Now, if you want to go to, to the woods from here, you have anethocyte. to go further into the caverns, like the un... We'll call them uh, quarantined or sectioned locations, and try to find an exit, which they, they do exist. Would I know of so any? The no. Above, no. So the tram's not like an above ground thing. No, like, there's scouts don't even bother. They just that is true, because it like farther like, in. People spend, like, magical yeah. eyes to be like, oh, it exists. Confirm for sea defenses. That's about it. Who's there? Gotcha. So I, I think um, Ben's point is probably the best one. Well, good timing, because the tram arrives. Basically, we will pretend that Note is... Highly infected with nephocyte, and we are he's a test subject for our research. So, this is in character conversation. You're okay with the character. Yes. It is the best option that we have. Don't, talk, don't tell me. It is the best option that we have, and I want to make sure that he's safe. And then, once we release him, I'll just put some notes down the creature succumb to the nephocyte poisoning and dispose of the body. Or we get an exotic or rare pet thing, and then he. Was healed. Okay, Michael. 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 Right here. 
Fortunately, there's no one on the platform as it arrives. <laughs> so it arrives because you guys are so far out. Most people have got off their stop by now. You're kind of like on the bus line. You're at the last stop. Welcome to the projects. Here you go. I can't continue. Probably more familiar with these cards. I'll let you handle this. No problem. I open the tram door. All aboard. And I'll. Uh, Go ahead. So just you know, there are no, no guards on it currently. You get the checkpoints oh, as you progress yeah. towards mm -hmm. the entrance. Yeah. Okay. So the tram itself is just yeah. empty, like an elevator. Oh, I see. But you right. can stop the regular points. Yeah. I pull out my contract. I pull out the contract just in case we need this. <laughs> Remember, we have all sworn secrecy to the courts. Let's. Nellisite. 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 Pardon me, I'm not of a scientific nature. What are, you, what are you remembering? I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I should take it. Okay. So, you get on your... Everyone gets on the tram. No tay. Very unhappy with life. The slave, very happy with life. I, I, I live. New slant on life. Death sentence. Survive a death sentence. Back no to withdrawal. No withdrawal. Have you uh, thought about your life after this? Uh, I hit the button while, I, while mm -hmm. you and the slave start talking. She's she she looks at the displacer beast. She's like, I have. Uh, and what? What will you make for yourself? I'm working in government, maybe a tavern, not. Uh, my previous profession? I'd say government. Stay away from the drinks. Do you have any admin background? I can read. Do you know how to keep numbers? Yeah. Three comes after two, and then there's four. Can you add numbers together? Two and three is five. Can you add large numbers together? Five and ten is fifteen. Whoa. She is <laughs> there goes that idea. That's very nice. Thank you. I turn back around. Well, reading is Reading is rare. That's true. Or the being literate if you're poor, it's a coin toss. Yes, but, I, but I can't have her I can't have her be the admin of our squadron, she can't count. DM Cliff moment. Directly. What are you doing about a, your, your bystander who is not sworn to anything? And who is not she does not know of base. the crystals. You guys talk. And, and you have this place for beast that you had a whole entire story about how to keep secret in front and of you. And she is staring at this place for beast. You yeah, that was my... Uh, to be oh, quiet sure. about it. I usually end up getting like, no, crap, crap. You, you, if you wish... <laughs> just imagine sworn to secrecy, right? And we're all just like, right. She's just like, <laughs> remember, you are also now sworn to secrecy. Kiwi. Do I have a, okay. Thanks, Dad. You have any any relatives in the city? Uh, I do. Mother, father, brother. Brother. How old? Seventeen. Where he's got a life ahead of him. He does. That's good. So he do why does he have a great life ahead of him? Great, he's got a life ahead of him. Oh. So you've heard of several things we spoke of, things we depreciate to keep quiet. Yes. And I would say, to some degree, you are almost invaluably indebted to us. Fair statement. Well, let me just build upon that and say that. The information that we are attempting to keep quiet, if it gets out, could lead to the destruction of this entire town, including your brother, which would cut short his life. I don't mean to be intimidating, I just am simply... Oh saying, yeah, no, but just please roll intimidation. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Simply to say that if you were to speak of these things, it could be bad for... Not only yourself and your brother, but everyone else. What she looks to to note, he, he gets that big. 
Yes. That's why we need to get him out of the city as quickly as possible without harming anyone. What is your brother's lot in life? Uh, he is, much like his sister, undecided. What? We don't have many options. We are what, not... Uh, what's the thing about philosophy? Yeah, <laughs> what, what, what prospects does he have? You're not a learned folk, good sir. What, yeah, I, I don't mean to degrade or patronize. What, what options do you have for work, for survival? It's like, well, you have to ask... See me in the taverns, getting money however I can. What if I could provide? How, how capable is your brother? What if I, could I provide? What if I could provide an opportunity Sir. for him to move out of his station in life? Doing what? Possibly something in my mercenary company. Maybe not too dangerous at first. Just loading supplies, watching over a warehouse, a guard position, maybe. Oh, he's really smart. He can add. Big numbers. Then I think he would be an <laughs> excellent <laughs> addition. <laughs> okay. I'm looking to build upon people that are not just strong of physical attributes, but mental as well. And people that we can count on, <laughs> such as yourself. Right? Let's, let's not get too crazy here. <laughs> you're, you're asking a, a very simple lady to be... To save the city here. How about this? You you find my brother, a stable job, that's all I ever want. That is more than that. You've already saved my life. You don't even have to do that. But Sounds good. I'm glad we agreed. Set, tell him to seek out Bart at Krell's Crushers and we will have a position for him. Sounds, sounds good. She seems... Everyone roll insight. Skill I have. Come down to the nose to zap her off the train. 21 total. 10. Oh, shit. 12. 17. 2. Oh, wait. I have a thing on that. A 19. Okay. So, you believe her. She has all incentive in the world to play, play nice with you. You are pessimistic as hell. No. That you realize if she was ever tortured, she'd give up the information. So she has all the reason to play nicely, but just like any other person here, uh, it would. She's telling you the truth as much, but she kind of says like, "Yeah, but it's between my life, my brother's life, and your lives." Message spell. If this woman is ever put to any type of torture, this is all in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. If put to any type of torture, any kind of pressure, any kind of duress, any bit to her or her brother, she will immediately give up all of our information without a single bit of hesitation. Could you guarantee that She's anyone... She's the greatest liability we'll ever have. It's, it's so. a, and a completely brain-to-brain, -brain, so you have no idea what's happening. So literally, they're like, everyone's like, oh, it's a good time, we agreed, it's, we're going to play nicely. I can mess it And for the most part, right? there is a complete incentive what for her to do so, do unless just, under extreme duress. That is the question. Again, I don't know what we really can do without I feel literally that. just can we not guarantee that blasting her off the train. Not do the same. That is why it is insight. Dude, Desmond's very law-abiding. You seem like a totalitarian society. Yeah, add magic. I basically take the message spell to each of them and tell them the exact same thing. Like, she's okay. going to be a liability. No matter what we do, she will give us up of anything else. Points. I would say the same for any, any of one. us. Yeah. I can guarantee that any of us would not do I, the same. We just, I have more faith in you not giving us up than this person. Then you need to learn to have faith. Oh, believe me. Remove a couple fingers and my tongue is much looser. <laughs> We can't trust Ben. This is back over to you. It's going to be a liability at some point. Good, camera. It's too pink. My suggestion is we keep an eye on her. That's the only thing we can do. Can you imagine her? She can do. You have use of her. Everyone's like, I mean, at this point, just keep an eye on one, one day because the glowing eyes is fascinating for a common folk. Even that would be less world. dangerous and keep her out of tavern. And she's wearing just true balls right now. Yes, um, you girl. You said you could read, correct? I can. 
What if I could uh, perhaps speak to someone about maybe employing you at the library? That sounds swell. She says in a way that no one is real insight about how excited she is about that. You're asking you're asking a tavern prostitute to be a librarian. Yes, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. It wasn't my first idea, but it was suggested to me by someone. So they're playing. <laughs> She's like sure. It sounds good. I will. I will look at him. Not like, my first plan. I I get the feeling you are trying to further persuade her in the situation that she may eventually get tortured. Magic spell. Which seems she's saying. This. To keep... I don't know. She's saying this. She's like. She's not smart. Message spell. <laughs> message spell. Right, right here. No, yeah. I just I just hit you with a message spell. I'm keeping her at the library where we can keep an eye on her so we know if she gets captured or taken from somewhere. Why would she get captured? Don't do, no, you, do people just capture other people for fun? Yes. Uh, one thing okay, so forgetting just how cool this <laughs> we're floating. <laughs> we're floating. Yeah, <laughs> and now between all this liberation, good, you're reaching the very first checkpoint. Tram slows down and hit oh, stop. Do you think? Was there a guard there? Yes, there are guards. A guard on each side that comes in to uh, inspect, and it's not like it's this you know wonderful train. Right. It's literally just walls, and you guys are open air more or less. Like there is no top. I come up next to Ben. So they're just kind of walking over to you. I have my contract arms. out, and I hold it out. And I what, 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 discreetly. Yep. I have my research mandates ready if I need them. So, <laughs> <laughs> just, sure. What? So just, just. I'll be holding my breath. So the first guard. I said, watch yourself. We have a research asset on board. He is heavily infected with nephrocyte. Careful, please. Oh, yeah. Yes, please keep away from the specimen. I would hate to have you contaminate it. Why are you, why are, why are you okay? Here's our, here's our contract. Here's our contract. We also have research papers if you need. Does the gnomes not breathe anymore? <laughs> Jesus. What's ha- what happened to that thing? He, he, goes, he goes far back. He goes... Wait, wait, he's like, nowhere near this thing. We've been down there for a day and a half, we get used to it. Please, we need to get out of here as soon as possible. Yes, and you need to get the asset to the containment. Alright. God, man, for the love of God, hurry! Alright, go ahead and roll persuasion. <laughs> Son of a beast. I would like to use inspiration and throw up while I'm talking to further You'll, my... You have two more checkpoints. Okay. So, so are you going to ruin your throw up now? Holy monkey, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It went, did we get that on cam? It literally was on a one. And it went, and it, no. Oh, because on cam is where the uh, the, the slashes are. Uh, oh, so, my goodness. So, for those at home, it went from a one to a 13. <laughs> <laughs> 13. 13. Okay. So, only Steve, because he's probably the only one watching. No, lots of people were. Um, no. A lot of people were asking what the stream stuff was, and I sent it on Facebook today. Yeah. Aliens. Uh, as much as uh, ancient aliens. Okay, so he's like, fine, go, go. I hit the button as soon as he says go, as I grab it. Okay, so as as you get the, you kind of get like a little little scribble saying it's signed off on by the, the guard at that stop. Not really signature. Just, you go. Do I know that that is That's normal. acceptable? Okay. Yeah, it's fucking guards. Worse than doctors at some point. Thank you! So you notice the two guards are talking to each other as you room away. Don't they normally talk? So, can, uh, how, how much time for the next checkpoint? Do we know? Uh, you probably got like five, maybe fifteen minutes. Can we hear anything that they say? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Fuck. Okay. Well, that went well. I think. I think that went great. Well, well we were talking as we left. The, the so. tavern worker is just like. You guys are good at this. <laughs> Do people not normally talk to each other? After seeing something as unusual as that, I feel we might have the rumor mill working overtime. Would it get be back. weirder if they didn't talk? I, I think this is less the time of questions and more the time of well, we celebration. Have... <laughs> we made it. <laughs> There's still two more. How about we not celebrate until after that? 
That's why I like you, Ben. You're a half. Let's keep a little half uh, full kind of guy. A little mental momentum, okay? We we got this. I'd rather not celebrate too early. And as you say that, I am retching off the side. Can we do something about the smell? Oh now, God, Jesus, that's really bad. Afraid it's gonna have to stay. It's oh God, can we just take it off, please? Rude just like put please. his robes up over his face at this it's point. It like, smells like research. <laughs> All you need is a little an astronaut. Little little mask, little bubble of nice so, scent for myself. Ah, nice and fresh. You can't clean the air with that person. You bastard. Excuse me? Killed Kenny. Right here. Hit me. Hit me with it. It wouldn't be Bubble. fair. The Bubble me, boy! Okay. I'll use my third instance of press digitation to give him a fresh blast. <laughs> Directly to the face. Blast the face. The temper was like, I know how that feels. In fact, everyone must just move over to this side and hop. God, that's good air. I'll try and create some fresh air on the side of the trim. What do you say, Vince? Field good air? This is not actually bother him. Well, well, again, it's open air, so... Yeah, the gear... Yeah. It's clear. Just not act like a dog and you'll be fine. True enough. I'm right here, man. Where are we going? Mute is like... Taking all of his things, the harness. I know, I know, I didn't feel good, I'm sorry. I know. She tries to calm him down, soothe him a little bit. Definitely not a house cat. I feed yeah, Note one of my rations. Ooh, full on ration. He well, likes it. He's a growing boy. <laughs> Good job, Note. He om nom nom noms. Stay with the pack. He lays down and eats the ration and just mutton. Oh. Just prepare. I think I'll you're going to say for the next one. <laughs> I wasn't too confident in your abilities. Would you like to say something? Oh, that's not my place. Then back of the bus, buddy. <laughs> See Tucker. <laughs> Frankly, never had to make up a story about a displacer kitten There's coming the into the city. Well, that is the first try on the first try for the first tries. So there is a second try. We will hope that is better. I take it back. You're doing great, Ken. If not, <laughs> <laughs> I told you rather well. Rune can open. Whoa! Blow stuff up. Uh, Violence should always be your first. It's not. I'm trying to talk through it. If it goes bad, though, we should be ready. Just saying, crazy, uncommon beasts that we are taking in. I'm just saying. I'm also kind of well. DM Cliff moment. You've been signed off from leaving from checkpoint one to checkpoint two. If there are dead guards around that time, okay. it's gonna come right back to you. Yeah. It's literally a paper trail. Fight the guards. A message spell over you, and also I don't want to fight the guards. Message spell. We can't fight the guards. Also, now that she's been checked through, we can't technically take her <laughs> off the tram anymore. So yeah. that option is now. Not fun, Clyde. Great. Yay, and yay. I sit silently pondering how I got myself into this mess so before we get to checkpoint two. You didn't want to, and commenting back on that, uh, you didn't want to let the slaves die in the cave, so now we have a liability. Just saying. Thank you for pointing out this law in my plan. Are you guys That's messaging or talking? He's messaging. messaging. Okay. All, I'm doing that, all of this through messaging. So that is, just got to clarify, a great way. So they don't they know. Don't just, no, I literally just said the message spell. Okay. Great. Okay. Shit. Uh, no, it's 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 this is why this is again, this is why I said we should just let them die in the caves. No, everybody's like, no, we have to let slaves live. And, blah, blah, blah. and this is how we get live. Well, I don't want to be like everyone else and just a monster. Because what if somebody didn't give me a chance? I wouldn't be. Yes, yes. Research for days. <laughs> I, the wrong person get a heart to heart with. They're messaging them. I think the next well, check I don't think person. Uh, yeah. I believe it'll be They're right staring at each other. They're like, is it bro? Yep, I see the lights of the next platform. 
Final comment. All right, everyone. Okay. One person's monster, <laughs> another person's hero. Back it's uh, potato, potato. It's show time again. Yep, you are now approaching Into the next the checkpoint. Sky. Tram slows down. Garden side. Robes are up. Pull up. Yeah. Pull up. Stay Pull back. Up. We have a infected nethocyte research asset aboard. So I hold out my contract. The guard on one side is oh, just hmm. I'm using Clyde as a mask. The other one doesn't care. There you go. Reads. There's nothing. There's nothing on here about that. Oh, if you were looking for research, um, I have my mandate here. It's from House Crow. Thank you very much. As you can see the documentation, I am here investigating the... Pro persuasion. Oh, this is wonderful. You have inspiration available if you'd like to use it. It may come in handy. I wish to use inspiration by throwing up over the side. God, can we hurry up? Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so are you using that or no? Yes. What can I use inspiration to do? Well, you start talking. He starts, th he starts, vo he force vomits himself. I thought we had two. No, I used one, he used one to create this. I got a once. Yeah. Oh, I okay. Damn. See, I, didn't, like, I, didn't I do what I, I want. Really you literally, you, you probably get to do the same thing. It's magic. I explain so, shit. And then he starts throwing up. And he just, just watches you vomit like. Just. Other than what? vomit, what are you doing? Wait, I'm, did, I'm like that smell is. You don't smell that. Just, use what? inspiration, correct? Yes. And you rolled your die. No. For advantage? No, no, I, no. He just vomit. It's like, I'm not. Roll play it out. Never mind. Yeah. You don't smell this? No. Oh, God. That creature is foul. He's been making me lug it all through the tunnels. Roll play just out. Just get me out of here. <laughs> Please, can we just get through this? Research subjects fall within my mandate. Hands up oh. you. <laughs> you. Takes looks looks at you. God you man, what is wrong with you? What is your badge number? Yeah, what what company are you with? How do you not smell that? Fred. Are you kidding me? Fred, hurry, dude. You yeah. go. Oh it, my god. What's code your three? name? What's code three? He hits the bar, your tram goes forward. What's code three? What, do I know what code three is? Uh, go ahead and roll a history check. <laughs> is that where he's like, what's code three? What's code three? What's code three? Fifteen. Um, that means uh, run and run a more in depth check next. Next uh, checkpoint, which is the last checkpoint, the entrance. Fuck. Oh, I got this one. Oh. Well, I I'm going to or I. That did not go as well as we'd hoped. Uh, we have been marked for a deeper inspection on the last checkpoint. I want his badge number. I was perfectly charming in that instance. But you were brilliant. Well, and that will... Nethesite, as you know, is not contagious. If you have nethesite poisoning, me standing near you does not give me nethesite poisoning. Well, it's right. definitely proven, but... Wait, what's the question? Yeah, it's like someone that is poisoned. It's not transferable, right. right? Excuse me. It's not transferable. Right. Well, we know that, but common colloquial wisdom believes is. Right. There's never what? been a, a actual like proven case of it being transferred, but everyone believes it is. My face is very well known around the entrance. I'm right there in the tent. They know me as a healer. I could probably convince them that hey, it's no problem. I will take off the smell, and we can walk out here, and they'll be none the wiser. That tastes like that's vomit. <laughs> I vomited off the tram, not okay. in the tram. Well, as <laughs> it is like you vomit. The has completed a successful. He's, he's looking at you. Hey, well, <laughs> I will trust your judgment. In this I did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can dissuade them of their fears, but not of. The I won't be able to eat mutton stew for a week. And I, give well, another, I give him another ration. <laughs> well, that's where you come in. So hopefully. He he, he nudges it back to you like, I think you need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of lost Who's your food. Who's that big brain of yours? Yes, yes. Like my brain helps in social situations. And I will um, remove the sensory effect of the smell. 
Okay. I think that's bad. Try a night in my tent. I will not now. Thank you for warning me. Most definitely bad. not. But what are we supposed to do about the more intense chatters? I will try my best to convince them. I'd say I am I'm experienced in ethicide healing. It's not contagious. They're at no risk whatsoever. But they're still going to wonder why we have a Which is exactly why Rune will describe the details of his mandate and why this research asset is so valuable to House Crow. But will he not then become the property of House Crow? It will be the property of House Crow until he gets away. Or dies mysteriously. And you see there I no dies. Oh, I see. He doesn't. That's city talk for doesn't really happen, but we say it does. Unfortunately, we had to put him in the city to farm. Just to make sure you know we're not <laughs> killing him? Okay. The tram continues along as it approaches. Oh, yeah, you can start, you can start seeing the town in the distance, the end of this tunnel. Literally the light at the end of the tunnel. You see, there are definitely armed figures there. I'm never going back in those tunnels again. So most people say I'm never in the tunnel. Yeah, and sometimes it's true. Lawrence is going to uh, try to block their view of Note in a protective manner. That's going to be so highly okay. suspicious. Yeah, but, Realize... but that's all she... She's trying to protect him. Okay. That's all she can think that she needs to do. The, uh, <clears throat> the tram comes to a close. Final destination. There are two guards on one side, small dwarf, on the other side, two guards. The same dwarf that helped you along the first time, or similar. Y'all look alike. He looks at the motley crew, the wood elf, and displacer beast, a monk of robes, a gnome of crow. Kenton of Girls Crushers, and a sickly woman who is mostly removed blood. No, he pressed the vegetation. Um, yeah. yeah. I assume they're clean. Yeah. Okay. And a scrawny lady. This is what you're looking for, I assume? Pretty big hull. I see that. Can I see the box? The quartz was moved out of the box, right? Just yes. Takes that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to inspect. That's standard procedure. Okay. Otherwise, you're giving us weight, and there's nothing but rocks in here. About three seconds and nothing more. He hands it back to you. Thank you. The contract too, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, it says nothing for a little bit as you guys are on the tram. All right. Is, is that it? Is it? Is there anything you wish to disclose before you leave? Oh, you're re you you have to tell all about your research. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, as per my research mandate, as you can see here, I am perfectly within my rights to be collecting specimens. And I have found an interesting specimen within the mine that has exposure to the nethocyte that I would like to study. Therefore, I have brought it along with me. Do you have a permit for a rare creature? For a what? Rare creature. Do you have a permit for a rare creature? Not currently. I would want to obtain one. The government. You would go to the second office, to b you would fill out form 42H7. Uh, <laughs> Trivia questions for later. You said H7? H7. Office 2B, form H7. I'm assuming you do not have one currently. Well, I had not originally expected to encounter such a rare specimen or one that would have um, research value as I did. So, originally, no, but I would like to get one now. Oh, that's that's uh, that's very understandable. So, all right, one moment. He waddles away, 
to make a copy of your your writ. So you're on a tram, two guards each side, armed, scale mail, halberds. How, how's it going on, guys? Long night, man. Yeah, how so much, how much longer you got left? Four major. About two more hours. Excuse me. Midnight shift kicks in? 42 each, then. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, what tavern you guys in tonight? Fucking the Haggard Wench. She's like, Love boys like, I know that one. <laughs> see, see what they but, stuck me with? This <laughs> is a better life. It's a better life for you. Can you, you fucking believe that we got a full box with that down there? Give me a break, guys. It was ridiculous. Yep. So, uh, how'd you, uh, point over towards Lorencia and uh, the Spacer Beast? So, Quell's Crushers. Secret method. I can't, you know. Trade secrets? I mean, I can't give away our mercenary company recruiting tactics, then you guys will just go tell everyone. Yeah. Come on, you know how it is. Uh, now, you guys, you guys join, hiring? You guys hiring? Guys real come, yeah, come, yes. uh, come talk. What's your See, name? Kenton. 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 Well, look, I'll take care. I'll take good. good. Let your friends know. Anybody that's, uh, that's not a meathead. It's not, well, that's for or you should, or cross crushers, right? That, that's which word? You might not want to call, say meathead to the guards. They're not meathead. They're not meathead. Plus, just, I mean, it's completely in character, but they have thicker skin than I. Look. Literally. Li- literally. I didn't. T- do, do you see. Hey, a, look, look, look at me. Look at me. I'm not a typical Krell's Crusher guy, right? No, you're. Exactly. So, I'm not looking for Krell's Crusher's typical type of guys. Oh, oh man, right do I have to read? Midnight, so no, oh, yeah. but you know how to follow orders, and I'm not going to throw your life away. So, didn't didn't the man? Let me see here. Counting is not my strong suit. One, two, three, four, five. Wasn't there a hey, another one? One out of two ain't what bad. What's his name? Lent. Yeah, one out. Lent. One out of two ain't bad. Nah. Short one? He was, yeah, he was there. We had some typical troubles down there. I mean, you, you have you been down there? Oh, no. Hell no. What, exactly my point. Come back with elves and whatever that is. Gnomes? Well, that was just a lucky happenstance. We just walked by that and it was, oh, shit. And researcher, he, you know, you know how to research the typical brainy guy. Oh, are. yeah. I'm always yeah. learning things. Yeah, so Licking yeah. rocks and shit. Bat- he started to I tell me about some, <laughs> some sort of battery thing. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Battery. Can we just get I mean, out of a battering ram? Okay. Third. But yeah. Third beast. So, beast. Tavern Wunch. Hagger Wunch. Hagger Such an enlightening conversation. So, the dwarf comes back, hands you back your research grant. Thank you. It's like, I'm going to need you guys to hang out for a bit. Are oh, you kidding me? Come on. Do you know we can get like a temporary apartment and while the other apartment's being processed? If you guys want some water, some water right over there. All right. Uh, what what seems to be the issue, if you don't mind my asking? I'm afraid that is confidential, so I do mind you asking. Let's see. Well, then. Who's we'll wait, it? Well, please wait. He's like, he's motioning over to a little place for you guys to hang out. Do I know that this is common? It happens. Anything to raise alarm? No, it's more like, um, go ahead and roll um, history. And this is only 15? Some, yes. So you would know this. Generally, it means that they need to bring someone else to ask a couple questions. So having to hold that for a bit. Out, out of character. I mean, he's the only one knows this. How many, because Laurentia is debating just playing off the, she's an elf that's gone rogue and kind of Getting, that's essentially like going rogue running. and getting into the caverns is way. Well, that's hard. No, like running out into the woods, like running out, just being like, "Oh no, the elf went rogue and took the displacer beast." You'd have to run through a lot of city street and probably get shot to death. That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what is the possibility that she could do that? So that you guys don't have to go through the road. We are. Just I, 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 I say to everyone, "All right, guys, this is pretty standard. Sometimes you bring in somebody else to ask questions. It'll just be a minute. So let's just hang out." Try not to bother these guys. They had a long shift, so just let's hang out for a second and see what happens. So you guys, assumingly, go to the waiting spot then. Yes. Okay. So it's it's nice. It's just a little little area. One entrance, one exit. Table, pitcher of water, chairs. Um, interestingly enough, the the lady that goes with you 
she has stopped before going in, and she has a very brief conversation with the dwarf. Everyone roll perception. Tell what you should have. 18. 8. 18, 8. 5. Eight. Also 8. You notice... Um, you notice a couple of coins pass between the the uh, the dwarf and the lady, and the words it's like you heard nothing, you see nothing. It's like and you should leave. And she doesn't join you. So all you guys know, except from Lorencia, is that the slave girl is no longer with you. So I'm going to be like, she was paid and told her she didn't see anything. This does not feel good or average at all. Or Do I know where, how to get out of this room? One Do entrance, I, one exit. Right. Do I know where the exit goes? Do I know if it goes... Same entrance and exit. It's kind of like you got one way in, one plug in the interrogation room almost. Okay. So you'd have to go out through armed guards. I know that... <sighs> There is a commission from your group, so I think as quietly as possible, to get this necessary. Just, just we know that they won't just. Kill I us start. Ca- I call. <coughs> Man, you know this is a great room. If uh, they are trying to see what happened, um, Rune, I I know that there have been messages down in the mine uh, when we were communicating. I think that talking to Lorencia might be an idea right now. Message Inspiration, spell. which got rejected by the shot glass. <laughs> Rejectory. So I'm using oh, message I continue spell to transfer <coughs> some, um, conversations back and forth between people. So you're going to be a router? Yes. So, okay, it's a telephone. What's Ben doing? So basically, whatever you want to say to anybody else, just let me know the message spell, and then I will transfer it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So she says that there was money transferred to the slave telling her to forget what she's seen. Are we sure that they are not going to just take the next site, not pay us, and just kill us? Transfer that between everybody. Has this happened before? Is this common? Um, It is somewhat common. We're talking about a lot of money passing hands. However, due to is extremely law-based and such a paper trail, it would be... Unwise to we, do that. Do we have know? two guards. I message to Rune. We have two guards signed off on our paper trail that we are coming in. We are documented at two checks. I don't think they're going to try and steal the Nethysite from us. Do they normally pay off the slaves? No. No. That may have more to do with our uh, interesting companion that we brought out of the mines than what we actually brought out. Agreed. Um, might. If worse comes to worse, at the very least, I don't think we can fight our way out. Oh, hell no, we die. However, we could poison our way out. Because Nethysite, as far as everyone knows, is very hard to cure. Maybe and we left the box with you. Maybe we open the box and grab a handful. Everyone grab a handful to protect ourselves? Let's... Go ahead, relay. <clears throat> Relaying it back. <laughs> right, got it. I don't know if I need Let's to use that as a last resort, but I am yes. in on it. Well, I still have the chunk of um, quartz that I kept on me that I can use. And then I have a plan for it. Something ben, ben, why don't you, <laughs> since you are better at negotiating, why don't you take the lead on this one? <laughs> no, like I have the chunk of quartz. Okay. I'll cast a spell. I'll we'll do my best. I can't say I'm very knowledgeable at this, how these procedures go. Would I know, being that I have been in the mines multiple, or I've never been in the mines, but in the mercenary company, Mm -hmm. and just my intelligence, would I know if Ben would be better suited for this situation, or my character would be? You're much better suited for this situation. Okay. Your your words carry a lot more weight in the city than his. Never mind. I'll handle Uh, the guards. Anything Lorencia says likely is for speculation, and Rune as an advocate, Ben as a humanitarian. But years and one is the voice authority. Okay. Oh, for reference, who has the box right now? 
I do. I assume that because you said yeah, you, you yeah. asked the box because it's well. You know, he said what character, so yeah. I have it sitting next to me. Is there a line of four chairs in the room there is with like, like a table six or chairs? There's so a bunch of chairs. chairs. So chairs. Chairs. I will put the box of Nephesite on a chair next to all of us. Oh, worst comes to worst, I can do the box. I'll hold on to that. I think it's better to keep it. Then. Okay, cool. You hold on to it then. I say out loud, are we almost there yet, guys? Uh, I've been in the mine for a day and a half. I would like to get some sleep without a spider trying to bite my face off. Thank you. So at about the time you say that, uh, a man enters the room. He is uh, tall, thin, wears glasses. You immediately recognize him as, as Bart. He steps in and is like, Hey, Bart. How you doing? I, I wasn't aware that you were trained to, to fish like a little girl. <laughs> well, if you came back with a box this big, you'd be able to bitch a little bit too, sir. And he's, he, does, he has a drink with him. And he has, he brings a bottle, which I will portray with this wonderful wine. Brought to you by Omar Dot Nolan Industries. Omar Dot Nolan. <laughs> Omar Nolan Industries wine. He puts, it's like, and some glasses. What's uh, what's up with the cat? Research what? subject. He looks I, at you. I told you we were going to do things a little different. I had to bring somebody that knew something about the damn shit. Hey, hey we found it. I'm not going to take... I mean, you know, he helped. I uh, figured, what the hell? It's not bad to make allies, is it? No, no. In fact, making allies is a great idea. Just debrief me. What is a... Uh... So, we went down there. We got some nethesite. We found a bunch of it on the ground, so it was easy to pick up. We didn't have to mine it at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On the ground? I don't know. I've never been this deep. I assumed it was just on the ground naturally. We did find a broken golem very close. Looks like someone had maybe tried to use that and the broke golem and then they left without being able to. See why I brought him? Both of you roll the seat. Worst shit for me to do in this game. <laughs> Deception, oh right? Natural one? Which is a zero for me. Twelve. So it's like, so your intent overall playing this out was find something creative, you have the opportunity for inspiration. Go ahead, Rune. No, opportunity. For oh, inspiration. to get inspiration. Opportunity for inspiration for how you, get through? how you manage to persuade deceit incorrectly, which I feel Rune has a unique ability to do. Like, I'm going to try to lie to you, and by lying to you, I'm telling you the complete truth. Yes, but the golem was down there. I'm assuming they used the golem previously and it had issues with it. And you know how they can go crazy when they're used around these things. Uh -huh. And most likely they had to flee and weren't able to take all of their stuff with them after, obviously, homicidal, murderous golem. That was the site we came across. So a golem. Yes. Okay, so I was looking for you to say something along the fact of like, things that actually happened as a lie because you rolled so horribly. Oh, okay. Um, like, you lied so well, you told the truth. Like the golem <laughs> to end. Well, I mean, the, the golem was obviously, a, you know, an eight-foot-tall black guy with okay. a sword who was cleaving things, and okay. he kind of went to a different realm. But, I mean, it all can happen. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll get past it. So, an example of. Okay. No inspiration, so you... It's like, come on. This is this isn't the room isn't being scribed. I actually summoned you here. I have something else to talk to you about. But this is uh, I'll be quite honest with you. This is not what I anticipated. A full chest. Uh, hi, so Lorencia. This is Lorencia and Ben. Uh, ben, you know the healer I mentioned earlier. Hey Bart. Hi. Uh, this is my commander at Krell's Crushers that we can trust. Um, he has. Well, that's different views. Well, um, they, in, I, they, I trust them. Wise people, world insight. Whoa. All right. 
18. Six. Ben, you pick up when he mentions, oh, Crow's Crusher is that his kind of like, he reacts to it like, eh, something's wrong with Crow's Crushers. When he so, mentions, I was like, oh, he's, he's, he's the, the commander of Crow's Crushers. is like, it's like, I, I'm the mayor of Sixville, which has been incinerated. Gotcha. So he's like, okay. It's like, yep, yeah, like, you absolutely guys can trust me. Um, I, we wanted to do things different. I think we did it. Yeah, but one thing I'd like you to keep doing is being honest with me. A golem? Okay. There was some weird fucking demon dude with a sword. Well, demon up. fiend of some sort. He has giant I, armor. Sure. He hewn the he, rock like it was... He had cool clay. armor. That's all I got cool. out of it. Extra right. dimensional Something. transportation of the likes ben, I've never right? seen. I think I've seen the tents a few times before. You do good work. I appreciate it. Uh, I Mender speaks very highly of you. Oh, I'm glad. Yes. So, how did you end up signing on to uh, Sir Kenton's expedition? Well, there's something different about uh, Kenton as far as mercenary groups go. He doesn't see people as the objects that many other mercenaries companies do, if you don't mind my saying, no offense to you. No, oh, none taken. He drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but as you know, the Nethesite has plagued the people of this city for a long time. And as much as I've tried, I have not been able to procure a way to heal these people effectively. He laid down his intents to go into the mines and I saw an opportunity to perhaps with Rune's help, study the material. Uh, we're actually hoping to see if we can keep some of the Nethesite to ourselves so that we may, might be, excuse me, maybe we'll procure a uh, remedy. The logistics we talked about earlier. Yeah. One of the reasons I have good news for that, by the way. Very good news. Oh, this more wine is Oh, there? yeah. It's here. I think if you all partake, by all means, it's, it's good stuff. Rune does it. Christ Crystallis Port, uh, AE20. It's good. <laughs> Reminds me of my father. <laughs> <laughs> is that good or bad? All right, so, so what's the good news? Well, I gotta make sure the people I'm talking to are people are you're willing to trust. He looks at the elf, a historical outside people, much like cowboys and Indians, and this placer beast. Well, we're bridging inroads, or trying. Mark Fitzgerald, how are you doing? Lorenzo. A little apprehensive, but here. Do you have a last name, Lorenzo? A family name, perhaps? Is that common for the elves? Yes. Okay. Is it common for you to have a... What, the, what is this? I'm not aware of what this uh, majestic creature is. That's Note. That's Note? Yeah. He's a pretty good dancer. I mean, you see me move. He's he can he can cut a rug with me. That's well, he's kind of partner. <laughs> Part. It's the wine. <laughs> it is common for us elves to try to protect things that are in a dangerous environment. Wait, we're what? Golems, not the site, Danish environment. There's an environment with, I mean, mistake me if I'm wrong, a rock that kills things. Oh, uh, you mean the net site? Yes. Yes. I, I personally would not want to live down there, would you? No. I, I think we can absolutely agree with that. Lorenz here, right? Yes. yes. I, I would agree with that. So... I had noticed that there were disturbances in the atmosphere where Nephysite was involved, and I was curious to see if I could find out why. It has been disturbing the woods and the area where I live. This is your um, associate, Note? He is someone that I have decided to keep with me to be safe. Okay. So, 
he uh, you know, he pours himself on a glass. He just looks, you yeah. know, do you trust these people? Not at first, but now, yes. Do they trust you? Maybe. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we get, I mean, Elf, mercenary company, we're working on it. About that. I don't trust anyone, really. So, I realize you were down the mines. Um, there has been some changes, and the winds thereof. How familiar are you with the, uh, the house of Targaryus? I know it by name. I don't know any of the people. Yeah, there, I, there's... I, I don't need to know that. Nothing is ever good when they're involved. Well, Rune, right? That is correct. <laughs> Rundar Garrick. He he looks he looks over your your robes. Bro, right? That is correct. Rival house. So, um, you may, Mariner. They're a very strong military faction within the houses, war mages and whatnot. Yeah, they. Uh, I think they utilize tempest clerics, don't they? Um, from time to time, but a majority of their military might is dependent on. More eldritch magic. Even the most basics of them. Some of the, the clerics don't see eye to eye to them based on their... I want to say arrogance. Let's call it arrogance. It's a good wine night. Yeah, we're... Uh, oh, arrogance is the least of them, I guess. Used to that at the top. Yeah, well, they've been you know removed from the magical houses about a year and a half ago. What a shame. I know, right? But, Poor you know, when you take a very strong... Forgive me, uh, Lorencia, for the front reference. Take a strong beast, and you take it from its pride. It gets pretty angry. And they have been a pretty angry bunch. One of their sisters has just disappeared, and one of them is coming with a host. Oh, sorry. Is here with a host. Recruiting. To go north. To Zantorel. Krell has been in bed with them since, oh, well... Let's just say one of the lead uh, family lines spends a lot of time in the arena. So, they're pretty buddy-buddy. The majority of the company is going to sign up with a long-term contract, which is going to effectively liquidate Curl's Crushers. So, if you trust these people, you have a few options. And you'll only have them while you have an object of monetary value right in front of you. I don't advocate, what's the term, adjusting numbers. But if you don't wish to go with them to be shock troopers in whatever Ty is planning on doing, now would be a good time to figure out what you want to do. Do we know why they're going north? Well, I know the stock reason. They're escorting a sister for a marriage. Bush. <clears throat> they feel that by doing so and bridging bonds with Zantarell will bring them back into good standing. And I'm sure you've well, you're a heel. You probably have heard this already. The uh, the rumors of their involvement with making the royal family, uh, Edward Vitali specifically, very sick. Rumors, of course. And they feel that this will dispel these rumors by building stronger ties with the royal family and the magiocracy of Crystallis. Oddly enough, dead men don't speak. This is news to me. <laughs> Bigger point. You he struggles with it, the, the concept of the words. Fixes his glasses. You won't be signed on. Thank God. Oh. You say that, Kenton. What do you plan on doing afterwards? You will not be sanctioned in the city. 
you won't be part of a mercenary company. You won't have any money minus the amount that you've saved up, which I'd imagine you have bills to pay. Yes, but I have other options. Well, they still pay us for the nephrocyte box in return, but it would be cut out of that. But... It, pardon me, I... Is there a restroom? Really? <laughs> you trust them to go pee in return? Yeah. All right. He shows you out to the, the trees. <laughs> and while, while Ben is out addressing his water needs, it's like, well... I do have some... You have some suggestions. No, I have some contracts. What kind of suggestions? What kind of contract? Well, how would you like to start your own company? Let's just spell this is where you say yes and move on. Yes. Okay. I can set you up with one, and it won't be a mercenary company. Not in traditional sense. It will be, hmm, what's the term? Expedition? To do what? <laughs> a lot of untamed land out there. There's a lot of contracts out there. It doesn't involve killing things. Again, working smarter, not stronger, right? What I know... What he's like talking about. Yeah, he's no, basically talking about a mercenary company that doesn't take co contracts to kill people all the time. Okay. So a jack of all trades, a mercenary company, they do all different kinds of things. Rebranding, yeah. Would you run it? Or like when I report to you? No, you report to yourself. How much would this cost me? Glad you brought that up. Ah, now we get to the meat and potatoes. No. So, when you turn in this box of an episode, all the proceeds are going to go in to Krell's War Chest. I propose that I give you a different box with some to give you less. He'll cut his losses. He thinks very low of you, so he won't think very differently of it. With the differences, we'll set up a three-year contract. More importantly, more importantly, we'll also have trade agreements with, with Nexus and Crystallis. You said trade agreement? We can take contracts from both Crystallis and Nexus. This has to be something that you choose to do. Would there be any leftover from my compatriots? They worked very hard and I promised them a share. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're your employees. I don't see it that way. Not yet, anyway. Sure. Just how it's going to be on paper. What? It's going to be on paper. There's a minimum requirement. And we would also like to keep some of it at the site. For room to study. Those are my terms. I made a promise. I went down there. They didn't abandon me. I feel it's only fair. If How I much do you need? Look at Rand. I'll give a minuscule amount of few pieces. Okay. I can take it out of my personal war chest for an amount. Okay, so essentially, numbers-wise, how much would we receive? Oh, personally, for you guys, like yeah. pocket cash, he pulls out, you know, some writing paper. Looks it over. It. No, not with no means. It's like, well, between a lot of you, you're looking at about three thousand to spend. Well, I always did want to leave this city. 
Better now than never. Thank God I don't have to listen to Crow anymore. Jesus, that guy was an idiot. Yeah. It's like, but to be fair, he doesn't show it. He, uh, he's a good guy. And I'll stand by that. Just make some really stupid decisions. You'll learn that people around you might not be perfect, but they're worth sticking around. As much yeah. as that we fought, he really did look out for people. If I were to need an alliance and duodecim or protection at some point in my career, which I most certainly will, would you recommend somebody that you've worked with in the past that is trustworthy and that you could count on? Depends on the type of protection. There's different types. Just in general, political protection? Political and the best type of protection you can buy for political and... I Not being it. assassinated would also be a nice thing. Um, well, there's the Fortunas because they own Assassin's Guild. That's a new facet of your family. It's also news. Nothing you've heard of before. Um, but are they trustworthy? No, absolutely not. There's the Fortunas and there's the Candles because they're both purchasing quite a bit of intelligence. So who's the most trustworthy? Whether well, if you're talking about with politics, you you don't hope to trust that quickly. It's always what are you worth to them? And in that stake, you'd have to stake an alliance. So you'd have to early on in your brand decide if you want to align with the royal house or with a magical house. Are those the only options? No, we, we well, level with me. What are you trying to protect exactly? This uh, thing? Sorry, what's his name again? Note? Yes. Sorry, Note? Like this? No, that's more of her pet at this point. Um, no, we have a major discovery of knowledge that we are not fully Okay, well, you're going to have to level with me, buddy. Between, what do you, I thought we were past this. We can cure an episode. Really? I so think I understand you're very optimistic, so I'm going to look at the healer here. You can click cure an episode. <clears throat> we have, and the researcher. We have um, come across something that allows the full reversion of an episode poison. It is in finite quantity currently. Have you told anybody this? No. We don't want to. You shouldn't. It's really why I was hesitant not to tell anyone at all. I He's smart. I hope we can trust you. Well, yes. Hence the reason why we have this. No it's one wise of you to be to withholding, but let's put some cards on the table. I'm going to have a job, too. I'm not going with Crow. Well... Let's put it this way. I wasn't going to Krell unless you guys weren't. I uh, can only go so far. I believe too. But he's going to get everyone in the company killed. I'm not about to die next to him. That said, curing something, that makes this protection thing make a whole lot more sense. We've found a mineral that if used in the right way can as Runa said, completely reversed the death cycle. All right. Well, Currently, it is called Nullicite. That's less, how we filled up the box. All right. It exists for now. The less I know about this, the better. You have a substance has the potential to do the things you say it's going to do. I'm going to forget about this for the most part. You need I mean, protection from that, though. Oh, well, yes. You need protection from not only bodily harm, but... Uh, Random scrying sweeps. We can't have this found. Well, that changes things. Well, you know what? This, um, like a smart person can, opportunity out of adversity. We haven't decided where we would, if you're going through with this and starting your own, where headquarters would be. And it does not have to be in Duodessa. Or it can be in a place that is a little more discreet. There's an outpost just southeast of here, outside the city, which no one gives fucks about. 
what's it called? It's the just outpost. the duodecim outpost. It's about three days from here. That's outside the city. It is, uh, has, let's call them offices. Why would he shack? To rent, cheap. We could use the proceeds to get a license for it. How much would a license for? No, let me, let me worry about that. So I we'll see that you're jockeying for a position in the company. Pretty sure that's uh, what I'm doing for you. Unless you have the context to us all. Well, of course. Come yeah, on. come on. Let's not be a dick. Come on. <laughs> come on, Mark. Come on. We're, 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 not, we're not that much wine into this conversation. <laughs> well, we haven't finished yet, so. Nope. He passes you the bottle. It's like, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I can understand if you need some time to process it. Unfortunately, much like in the field, you don't have time to process it. Once we leave here, the opportunity to make alterations is gone. I do have a question. Maybe you might have some insight into this. Do you know of a candle named Clyde that went missing? He leans back. How do you know who Clyde is? I oh. make interesting friends. I can see that. He's like, how do you know? So... We found him in a puddle of water. No, why? No, that's not that. I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> we found him in a puddle. We did! I, I knew Clyde not as a candle, but just a generous friend. So I'm similarly in the same boat. Uh, okay. So you guys have been very forthcoming with very sensitive information with your, what'd you call it? That oh, you didn't want to know. Let's just keep going. Just, just, well, no. I think that the important part of trust, Kenny goes in full mentor mode. The important part of trust is the trade-off. Yes, yes, it's novel sites. Is it? Yes, that is what I've named it. More importantly, okay. Mm. Yeah, he, he is a candle. He works for, directly, Edward Vitale, the prince. He's, hmm, he's a weird one. Some call him eccentric. He's also one-armed. What? <laughs> Shall we I had noticed that there was a disturbance. If we, if we know that he is someone we can trust. Wait, I'm thinking Clyde? like if we know that he is someone that we can trust. Well, we told him about the Nova site. Yes. I can't believe. Are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need like this is going to be your thing for rap. <laughs> Routing <Yes>. information. <laughs> I noticed that there were disturbances in the me. atmosphere due oh, to the. Oh, now this is awesome. Can high five after? I had ulterior motives. Possibly. Because the no, disturbance could have led direction. to another realm. In where Clyde, during an attempt to save... Freeport. Freeport. An attempt to save Freeport was stuck inside that realm. I was trying to get him back. He had one arm. He's pretty smith. He, he lost his arm because person. the portal closed on it. That. Okay. Heavy. I need to. I need. I need to talk to Evelyn. You know Evelyn. Yeah, she's I my was, contact in the candles. I was Who's actually Evelyn? about to contact her. Evelyn, she's uh, she's a researcher. She's a more standard candle. I was actually about to contact her with some questions. I know that she worked closely with him. Yeah. Yeah. Babysitter might be better. I knew Alcina. Ooh. Okay. Hmm, the plot thickens. You uh you find some interesting people there, Ken. Well, when you look outside the box you find some cool shit. You you do. 
you, 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 you do. So, arm, puddle. Sorry, this is all news to me. Uh, what would be a puddle? Is it naturally occur occurring scrying pool without... It, uh, no, it, it's, it's, a it's a puddle. It's a puddle. Puddle? Okay. Water, dude. I'd water, make it. water, I'd make it. water it puddle. All right. Well, I have some the client, the client that I know, right. works for Edward Ritali. He's a member of the Candles, and more importantly, he is an agent of Kellenbor. So, what does that mean? Oh, an agent of Kellenbor, the God of Death. So they are oh. responsible for. You know, sometimes when you hear those things of like the Fortuna. And they're like, oh, I'm beyond everything, and they get all high and mighty, and they commit like Typical necrotic. Yeah, 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 yeah. They go like, I'm gonna do necromancy. I'm above the law, and okay, they bring their, 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 you know, someone. No, you shut up. So I can see what you're doing so here, Crow. You, you're just as bad. So necromancy is illegal. Good to know. Necromancy is illegal. It's just how you go about doing it. I'll get to that. I'll get to that out of character later. Like, I'm bringing back someone, I'm going to create a lich in the family. The, the people that stop that are the constant resurrection to keep things in balance. The, the agents of California. They're, they'll assassinate people that are coming back to life because they have power. Um, they keep that in check. Otherwise, you have some people that just don't fucking die. We can thank them for that. Death is a good thing. Death is an important cycle of life, or so they keep telling me. Well, I mean, sometimes you may need extra time. Research. It's, it's yeah, and that's that's let's, let's not get a dog because then there's fate and, and look Oof. here. Tell I tell you about an opportunity for employment. Not so much talk yeah. about the philosophy. This don't want to open. <laughs> Pour in more. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Do not want to open that bag. Of apples. Do it. <laughs> I see what you did. Yes, the bag of apples. Bag of apples. <laughs> see, Ben is half the reason we were staying down in that crazy fucking place. He seems like a nice person. He's pretty hilarious. I don't like it most of my... What's the... So many animals. Oh, does he bother you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? And there is a sloth on the floor. Oh, uh, no, you just disappeared. disappeared. Just disappeared. Like, oh. You might not think it, but you can learn a lot from that little guy. You know what? Patience is an important virtue. It's, what would Roger do? Huh? What would Roger do? Who's Roger? The sloth. The sloth. Okay. He's kind of like our team. Hey, do we get design our own banner? Oh god, no. <laughs> let's let's focus on things. Oh, like so. work it doesn't even have a name yet. Yeah, it's focus on such material. Veto ahead of time. Yeah. Just, just. I don't know. Don't he has very majestic there. arms. So the outpost. Yes, we become death friends. <laughs> well, the outpost is an option. I run options in city too. I think best that we. Set upside out the city to, to have it. much less inconspicuous. I agree. In our um, remote location, we better for the experimentation. We'll need to make. We'll need to make. Also, we could what? set up. We could provide buildings for I have your to healing study abilities. Thing we just to, found for people have, out, yeah. to come outside. People afflicted. Tools. Yeah. We can talk. We can talk about yes. this. It's a very good point. Getting tools out there. Yeah. Oh. So. Yeah. yeah, so mercenary company, yes. Outpost, yes. Are we showing the outpost, though? I would rather I'm stay out of the it. city. Outpost, yes. Um, you're definitely in the company. Of course. And no, it's still the matter of the, the creature. We need a license. Oh, uh, yeah, some Wait. form. The, um... Okay. As being so grateful, I think I can take care of that. Yeah. Awesome. Give me, making sure I have a you know, spot. Thanks, buddy. No, you know, I am a man of the people. Yeah. I am, I'm a Thank man you. of the people. But me too. I am not. Just so you know, in paper, it's going to be under my name. So long, but only under paper. It's oh, just paper. a piece of paper. It's just a piece of paper. It's, you know, nothing more than just right here. Nothing more than just a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're already dead. <laughs> it's nothing more than a battle mat. <laughs> and fourth wall. <laughs> Boosh. Okay. Great. Well, now, it is considerably late. Yes, like 
Almost 11. They're still wounded in to game. <laughs> <laughs> They're still wounded in my tent. I have work to do. Can we reconvene tomorrow? Well, maybe. I think if we need, we need to take this opportunity. And if we have any questions or concerns, we should ask them now. That way we won't. Well, here's my concern. Ben? Okay. Um, Ty is going to make an announcement tomorrow. And if you haven't seen one of Ty's announcements, I'm sneering at fuck. Um, that's when pretty much Cross Crushers is going to just make a scene of it and go with him. So as long as we can wrap up whatever that is, because then we have to tell Krell that we won't be going with him without being a dick about it. So would it be best to have our bags packed, so to speak? Yes. My first thing in the morning is to go to the government and finish the paperwork. Pack up my research equipment. Well, go to the woods. Into the woods. It goes without saying that you would all be welcome. And I would hope that you would join me, but it's up to you. It would be it wouldn't be Good me job. telling you what to do, and that was how we do it. I would be much more diplomatic in that respect. I and I would count myself lucky to have advisors such as you going forward in this new and exciting. Adventure. I think it's important to keep the group together that found this NOLA site to begin with until we can derive its derive a product at the very least. But for tonight I do need to tend to my wound. To my sick. Sick and poor. And I will need to pack up my laboratory equipment and my does anybody have any questions or other concerns? I know that you are going to be getting a permit. Yes. For, well, a few different permits. Which for, one? For a new tank. Oh, I already have one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Way, way back I used to, um, I had one. Oh. Yeah, uh, don't go Laser beast or? Exotic creature. It hasn't expired yet. What did you have? A blink dog? Very different from yours. Do I know that? A blink dog is at the polar opposite of uh, the Spacer Beast. They kill each other outside. They kill each other outside. But only because they're just natural. I mean, cats and dogs. Literally cats and dogs. Uh. It's the fantasy version of cats and dogs. Gotcha. Very loyal. Um, lived long life. I always wanted a blink dog. My parents would never let me get one when I was younger. They're hard to find. As is a um, Displacer Beast. His parents were killed. You know they are... Uh... Okay. I, I'm aware. Dru Druid shit. I, I don't get it either. Already Look, sometimes it's not about what you know, what you think, what you believe. If you trust them, then you trust them. That's all that matters. Because when it comes down to thick of it, you might know someone's a, good, a great archer. If they freak out and can't shoot worth shit, if you don't believe that, then they're useless. So, if you believe them, it's the exact opposite. Wait, are you saying? I'm glad. A lot to talk about. <laughs> Jesus, it's fucking, what, two days? Well, you know. Against it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah. I handed the that. dog tags. He got done by the giant man in armor that we talked about that actually created... You know, just gonna, I'm just going to point this out here, Kenton. As a battlefield commander, you might want to let me know that... Never mind. Sorry. He was well, killed really by the dangerous. creature that had yes. farmed him <laughs> at the site and then created the whole portal of transportation. Well, he just pours himself some more. It's like a long conversation with crowd. He did decide to punch it in the face first. Unarmed. Have you had... No, you haven't met those Crushers. And if it's your example, it's a bad one. It was larger than him. 
Full armor with a giant sword. He has no weapon. Of course. I'm sure he popped out his chest a little bit more than Gent did. Well, Gent tried and was then impaled. Yeah. More it was the same as a fly attacking the swatter. You have some things to do, Ben? I do. All right. Let's... Let's reconvene at the Market Square at uh, First Light. How's that sound? Get some rest. I'm going to process this. The thing that I know absolutely nothing about. Find a thing for it. Um, you. One second. He leaves. Give him some time to talk amongst yourself without part present. Should we tell him about the draft? No. Yes. He said the less he knows the better. I think he's trying to help us. I mean, if we're going to do all this, we need to give him all the information. What are we going to tell him about the drought, then? That there's going to be a curse on the city? Not if to go anywhere near the drought? If the mines personal have more Ooh, people. Ooh, I get the big deal. I just make more drinks. Yeah, that's a good point. If the mines have more people. Do you think that Ty buying out the cross pastures will keep people, people out of the mines? I mean, well, yeah, if he's going to ignore it, I think that a lot of the free mercenaries... But what about the slaves that are still forced into the slave? Well, the other thing we think about it is... We're not in the city anymore. I'm excited because, because there's people Because that, Ben cares. I don't know, it's for indoor or... Yes. And nothing's frozen yet. Yes. Yeah! I assume the outpost relies heavily on trade from Duodessum directly. And if the city is to be ravaged by this curse, then we might be out of... A sustainable trade route. So, if we are going to be using that as a base of operations, we should probably help it to become self sufficient at some point. Agreed. So, whatever we may need to accomplish to create as a viable base of operations is possibly good. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a stale stack. Oh, this is really enough for me. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Why are you fine? Yeah, we're all doing good. We're all doing great. I was making it up as well, dude. Just keep making it up. So what are we doing after we get the output? He said we would have, to, we'd be able to do trade contracts in Crystallis. Yeah. Yeah, so we have contracts that are probably going on as we're going like, to the research on the other now, side that we got. So I'll just have to come up as we found out. There's still the opportunity to seek out help in uh, Crystallis with the House of Crow. While this is our base of operations, perhaps we could hire. Like you don't like fire. Man, the uh, the brother of the slave girl we saved. Maybe he could maintain our base of operations while we're away. We can seek out contracts in Crystallis while pursuing House of Crow to further research and at the site. In addition. Lorencia can seek out the candles to discover more about Fly. Okay. And we can... Crystallis is a hub of people. It's the largest population city, as far as I'm aware. It'll be a great opportunity to recruit. Crystallis is across the continent. It'll take us, like, weeks to get there. Yes. True. Um, well, we'll have a lot to talk about on the way there, I guess. One thing to keep in mind is the Ooh, horrific amount of energy the demons are are gathering that maybe something. Well, that's what I'm saying. Do we want to just put on the outpost like so new when it's so new? And I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I know, but I can say that we've spent. Fresh. So, you, Rune wants to stay at the outpost? I would like to at least establish the outpost with some rudimentary investigation to what we found. So, so plenty of lore. So, the outpost itself is. Um, Supported by the Duodestin government. Most of the city-states have outposts that are a few days out, which are kind of like the perimeter of their borders. First warning, you know, basic supplies for caravans, things of that nature. They're along the road. There's so, like no resources there, though. They're low. Like most resources, like most outposts are so far away that getting resources, there is a logistics delay and things like that. So research resources were very big. Yeah, and there's more freedom because there's less oversight. So there's less law as well. Which, I mean, gets the eye of the intelligence agency. So the candles. It does get the eye. It does, because if you're going to do something, you do in a secluded location, like an outpost, or close to an outpost. 
So it'd be better to stay in the city than it be. might be better to stay in the city. What options would we have? However, you do have a contact with the candles at least. This, this isn't something we have to decide tonight. Yeah, Maybe tomorrow morning. Oh well, yeah, we do need to decide it tonight because if he's getting permits for the outpost. Oh, I assume those businesses were closed, but first light in the morning. Right. So they're in the morning he's going ahead and finishing all that. Of course he's the one you have to decide on. He's gonna get permits. Permits don't look decide location. Like just the ability to do business. Okay. Not where the business is located. So he we can essentially that. rent something in the city. Yeah, yeah. he can actually have two more one office too, really. I say we take the night to think about this. And on one hand we have almost full autonomy, on the other hand we have Quite a bit of research. Well, autonomy. You still have, like, your permits can be pulled if you break the law. Lorenzo, would you be able to contact Evelyn and play interference with the candles to kind of shy away from our, the outpost that we rent? I know that I can contact Evelyn, and I don't know how much of a pull I have with her. No, but Bart knows her. But Bart knows her. So Bart probably has more of a pull. She knows Evelyn, but she's only con helped. Clyde. She so just knows that he's working. So Bart would have better pull than she would. So would Bart be able to mitigate that? Can you ask me to come back? The other point is the amount of resources that we'd be able to have available to us at the outpost would be extremely limited. This person yeah, have I, I think we'll need resources, we'll need people. Do a destiny provides that. It's a place where a lot of people come when they're seeking to you know, build a life for themselves. Also, some world events to be considered with. There are refugees that have been outside um, due to some since Freeport got attacked like about a month ago. So it takes some time to get here. They are in waves just coming in with like, no place for them. Also the outposts. So there are people in the roads traveling about homes. That also is interference because there's a lot of intelligence to deal with and people and opportunity. The due decim of the city states is the least city of one of the least opportunity because it's very law. You're not a citizen. You're just a denizen. You're barely a human being. Here, you're sinless. Which means you're not really exist. You don't really exist. But you can get your citizenship. By working in a mushroom. Woo, Baloo! And green. Fire. So cool. <laughs> no, the closest for the cast to decide it's a good time to see blue flames. I wouldn't go all the way because that might stifle it. I don't think it is. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Guys, floating platforms and blue flames. Um, yeah, let's, let's take the night. Where's, where's Bart? He said. He left for a second. Yep, he did. He's doing government. He oh, comes he's coming back, right? Yeah, so he, he returns. He returns with a piece of paper. Um, he hands it over to, he looks at to Laurentia and Kenton. He's like, What is that? This is the permit for. Thank you. The preacher? For the, or for, yes. Yeah. This oh, yeah. You can have that. We don't need that. It's no taste pet license. Yeah. It's all, keep in mind the office are closed, so it's. You know, provisional. Gotcha. So if we stay in the city, we need. Oh no! Just leave it outside. Someone a pyro. It's, it's, it's advantage and disadvantage to either one. But I mean, technically, we do have the outpost. We could start moving in the resources we need. It would just take time. So because this is mid-session, I'm going to ask you guys more 15 minutes. To think about your options. Is I order pizza for myself? Or yes, I need to go to the bathroom too. Cool. So time check. We are currently at 10:30. We're actually good on time. Yeah, I thought it was a lot later than 10:30. Yeah. So like I covered, expedition dumps do that. Cool. It's, it's funny. Combat, you feel like you don't accomplish anything. Expedition dump feels like you've been like four hours. I keep looking at them, there's no way it's that late. I mean, there's no, there's no way it's that late. That, that early? Oh, yeah. So, so you've been drinking, you're like... Mmm. Well, that's the whole problem. I just didn't know. I was just like... I'm gonna I just started laughing, like, I'm gonna fly. Because you're just like... Guessed it. Yeah. No one was... No one was going to say... Well... Much maybe. appreciate it, because that was going to... <laughs> Like, so much has happened to get Eventually, he's going to be like, okay, there's something missing here. 
a party member. We're missing a we're missing a beat. Down. Just <laughs> can't tell you. You only Don't punch the devil in armor in that well, step. Yeah, I mean he was a belligerent. Kiganis, whoever that is, I'm not too sure, says down. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Who says that? I don't know who Kiganis. Oh, 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 is the the chat in here? Yeah, 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 well the chat room's here. I keep it on here so that I don't freak out. Oh, gotcha. Down. No, Kiganis. So, it hasn't crashed yet, which is fantastic. I think it's good. It's cooler. I need to really replace this laptop at some point in time later. Well, yeah. Well, and well, it's yours, so thank you for letting me. <laughs> it gets the job done. It's got so many USB ports. But uh, normally, once or twice a session, the, it'll lock up from probably a heat freeze. I don't know. It, it, it has questions about it. So, while we have the time, while everyone's letting the brain pan simmer on your options, as you have a uh, options, which I'll let I'll let Andrew sum up and say, here are your options. He just said it very, very well. Uh, we should have a pizza. Okay. We see if Papa John's probably will be the quickest to open. At 10.30, I think they are. Okay. Domino's open until 3. Just going to say it. <laughs> well, I think Papa John's is doing 4% off right now. And they're 4% off? 14. Okay. Yeah, so, they're doing 4% geez, off. Jeez, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I am so... Wait, we can Jewish. almost... <laughs> we can the, almost the cut the tax up. If the Wizards are like Capitals winning or some shit like that, then you always get like 50% off. Really? Yeah. I know that when the... Um, or the O's, too. No. Well, they're doing an M they're definitely doing an L nice. LB thing, really cool. but I want to say it's... Wawa's so does free coffee hard. if the yes. Ravens win. <laughs> I would like well, oh, yeah, you're in Baltimore, so it might be Baltimore sports teams. Because uh, every time a Washington's team wins, it, I get a fucking Dude, that's like, awesome. six emails. It's like, oh, 50% off. So, and I'm like, oh, too bad I hate Papa John's. Well, we're, oh. well, we're Why are you Papa John's? Did they hurt so, Because I'm did Italian and I like real New York style pizza. Oh, I love Papa John's. Did, no, Love the sauce. Domino's I'll eat the shit out of that chocolate brownie thing, but <laughs> fuck the pizza. Yeah, we, we need to show you a, that, that chocolate cheese. Oh, there was, there was no cheesecake in it, but that chocolate cheese. Yeah, if I had to order like a cheese pizza, Domino's. Oh, yeah, the chocolate cheese. We need to show you that. Cheesy bread is good stuff. Yeah, we want to get just regular pizza, not the pizza jars, nothing. I don't care. It's amazing for all these. Yeah, but I see people are talking slowly. It's like it's like a chocolate bundt cake. And it says cream cake, but there's no cream, but it is like the most. Oh, yeah, like the little. T yeah, pops it like with the circle in the middle or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. But then yeah, yeah, I went yeah. to all the I know, right? And a whole bunch of vegetables and everything, and it was there for three bucks. I'm like, I'll just get the cake. And oh, yeah. It's kind of awesome. Dude, one of the best. The, uh, they have like seasonal food. Like every week it comes out with different. There's certain items that are different and aren't going to be there forever, I think. They have a cheese oh, thank cake you for that watching comes out color every color like color. couple months, oh. and I'm just like, what? This is delicious. <laughs> It's, it's like, answer like me, every little side. The, the smart and healthy. <laughs> and then if you want, I can make sure I can... I'm trying to be a, a monk of the, the hidden light. Oh, um, yeah. I'm trying to be in the DM of the fucking pizza, pizza, not this. I am a god. <laughs> god. <laughs> I will eat pepperoni with my pizza. You eat, like, whole fruit. Like, I like, Oh, the, the core? From... What if they eat the kiwi and will like, well, peel the skin off the kiwi? It's like, no. There was an interesting conversation oh, you missed about that. Fiber. Fiber. I mean, I get it. I just saw that. I was just like, I don't think we've ever seen someone just be Do like... Do you normally like, use your Papa John's or mine? Mine. Oh. So things are discussed. Things are discussed. As we the discuss contract pizza. that Bart is Here. proposing I'll log in says that we would be able to... Have. Another contract, sorry. Company, we would be able to pick up contracts in Crystallis. And Nexus. And do Nexus. And do Nexus. Mm -hmm. So... But prior to this information, we had a plan as how we were going to address the, the null site. Right? We were like, we need a patron to protect it. We kind of have that now. Have it now. One thing we don't have, though, is the funding or research power of House Fortuna or House Crow to really unlock the potential of this. I think that as long as we have the protection from so like the candle type thing. Pizza I think we can earn that shit special. on our own because it's better for us just to know about it um, than to go to a house and because we remember that something like we kind of said. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's like we don't want to bring in a house unless we have to, and we, we don't have to now. So, he's a pirate. So I think just ben, to two topics. I want I want to use this to help people. Okay. How do we help people? Um, is it one of the Well, I was like, fuck this process. Clinic, I could have a research location, and as I'm researching, coming up with ways eventually reach the point where we'll be able to have an artifact or a process or something that blinds that would be able to use an L site to kill another site. And we're sort of close enough to do a decimal that it would be um, able to funnel those actually down to us, which we're dealing with. I, I'll be quite honest, I woke up oh. and I ran around all day, I got that, here at home 15 uh, minutes prior to the end of getting here, I only really had a chance to like, just scrap some of the the prints. So I'm eating pudding tomorrow. That's another good point, that would get us a very good contact with the royal family, which would be very useful for another company. Yeah, it was just... Because I was going to plan to when you was an audience with like a major royal family to I didn't realize further sick. your healing. That's why I'm constantly continuing to drink and cuts my throat. Change the social aspect that you originally Between the lime juice yeah. and the vodka, I can yeah. tell. There you go. And then is just a step. Um, you are planning on seeing how magic um, happens. So you the 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 well, the idea is yeah. that this world is heavily divided from magic and non-magic users. Yeah. And I aim to hint that device. And I think that that is the first step in like getting that on its stage where we get political power. We need political power, we need respect, we need renown. And we need funds. So doing outposts will be difficult to get resources. Doing front it'll be difficult to recruit people if that's our intention. Mm -hmm. He said refugees come through. Right, we have re refugees. Less though in the city. But yes, that, that would be an option. Additionally, we would have the candles not looking straight at us, but potentially we would get scried upon every once in a while. Which wouldn't be that bad because, again, they don't know exactly what we're doing. Mm. He's simply experimenting with a rock that they are just like, okay. He's like, dead. Thank you. We probably wouldn't have the watchful eye of as many houses, though, because it would be an outpost. Is that correct? Yeah, and there is some some lore conversations without going too deep into like Skype land. The watchful eye concern, which kind of like the heart of a few of those uh, statements. Uh, Duo Decim is very, I keep on referring to it like totalitarian which means the government controls almost everything, but does so in a very capitalistic fashion. You want something, you pay, pay a permit for it. You want a beard, beard permit. You know, you want to research something, research permit. You want, to, you want a pet, pet permit. Every now and then they check the permits, they audit you. Oh, that's, that's sad. Well, the idea of curing, so let's say that we were to be audited, and maybe I don't have uh, insight into this process, but if we were to be audited for researching a cure for nethesite poisoning, they would say, oh, that exists. It's just expensive. They're just researching another cure. Okay. Yeah, or when they say, oh, researching a cure this far out from Crystallis, what are you guys doing? This is big. What it depends on how you, well, it depends on how you frame it. Uh, for one, it's like, is the, uh, one part of the premise is, is the ability to. And in reality, given how nethesite is seen, if you're researching nethesite um, in the city, you have more resources to knowledge and associates but you have the more ability to do experimentation further away from, because think like, um, what's that fucking mountain that we put all the plutonium in? Uh, anyway, so we put like nuclear waste in mountains and stuff like that. If you want to do experimentations, you want to actually do test sites with that, you do it away from the city. So the opportunity to do experimentation exists more in the city, the opportunity to do research exists better in the city. So it depends on what you're doing. So would Rune know if because he is the... Yucca Mountain. One of, he's one of the... Mm -hmm. Yucca Mountain, where we drop all the nuclear waste. So it's kind of like that. You wouldn't put that in, say, Chicago. No, well, you could. It's just, okay, we're not talking about Shadowrun. <laughs> um, so, the what, what I'm saying is, like, for the research thing, would Rune know that it's per, mm -hmm. the city is pretty much exhausted for resources as far as, like, knowledge? 
space goes. I mean, it's, it might have been there researching. I probably have all the books in the library earmarked at this point. That, so my, my question would be, would he gain more benefit from researching outside of the city because he's been there for so long? Well, he would be doing gaining... experimentation, which is much more up his, his field anyway, because yeah. he uses a lot of field work. Okay. Not that I'm not too sure how much he shared his background, but it's more up his alley. Um, the the complication that you will run into if you lean on Rune is that you will gain interest and probably talk to the crows a lot. That nothing is bad, but okay, nothing is clean here. I guess the thing. There's no neat solution to anything. Right, but I mean, he can. He's a a member of the house. He can do his own research. He doesn't. He can. He, he doesn't. He absolutely can. It's kind of like um, being a doctor and producing white papers and like about cancer. Okay. So if you do yeah. some really weird procedure where you can transplant a head, which is happening, they'll be interested. He's gonna kill some guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there is cures already. So to to Andrew's point, it's kind of like, well, if a cure exists, you just have to be you know rich and influential, and you can get it. Kind of like a, a cure to HIV. I just think for party continuity, the research out, or the outpost makes more sense. Just because you guys will be experimenting more. Plus. We have Laurentia, who's a druid, and I wouldn't want to bring her into the city all the time. Easier to house that. that yep. Because that would definitely be a lot of eyes. Why, why is this elf coming to the city all the time now? So let me give you some, some cons of you, if you'll fool for 60 view. There also was, like, world events are a constant thing. And Targaryus, which is a big military force within Crystallis, which is the closest neighbor to do deaths. And Bart told you that a big force that is leaving with Ty. So there would be a weakened military, which means opportunity for things like raids. Secondly, there was demonic host, which is far further east, that had invaded and taken down a city state, and it's going westward. So also, you're less defended. And the, the outpost would be the first thing hit by things like bandits or demons or anything. But they're an outpost, and you know they have survived. I like it. Is it stuff crust? I mean, they, they survive and continue to survive, and will continue to survive, because they're now so. They're designed to withstand. So we'd be putting ourselves in a very vulnerable, posi vulnerable position if we decided to go out to the outpost. No, you'd be part of a community that has to basically be on the outskirts of civilization. You'd be I a lot like frontier. I think we want to move into the city eventually. Well, Where and we that's our thing, too. You can be in both, but you can't right now afford both. Right, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I think eventually you want to move into the city, but as far as... So what we do is this. You're, are you going to do experiments before like, we go do the next thing we do? Well, yeah, I want to experiment with this. Like, we got a whole lot of information. We got a whole lot of items. I want to be able to do experimentation and research, but okay, experimentation so, trumps the research for right now. So, exactly. So would it be better to experiment in the city or on the outpost? Well, experiments with the outpost, research would be in the city. What so, I would probably be doing tonight like is that. grabbing reference materials to read the site, but also to a lot of the other topics that we brought up, and whatever of those I can actually get that they'll let me take. Okay. So, and then what you are about when, healing is the sick people. Back to RP. So we are not going to move the sick people to the outpost, I right. assume, right? I so, you know what? I will need a cart. Oh, okay. So... It makes more sense, kind of, I guess, for you net for now to stay in the city. Uh, yeah, it depends on what what our plan of action is once we get to the outpost. Well, that's my thing is we Probably just need to set up. We need to set up what we do or what we're going to do. Or in the meantime, like this is not some place we're going to stay for an extended period of time. We're going to go set up our thing and then go do whatever we're going to do next. Right? It's not like all right, let's sit at the up. outpost for two months. Well, we can't just set it up and then. Because Bart's going to be like the home base guy. Oh, Bart's... Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So He's Bart will we'll, we'll get the... Uh, what's it called? The kid, or her brother, and the slave chick that we saved. Put them to use. And then what? We, we travel to Crystallis? I think we go try and find Clyde. Right. Ah, uh, yes. Because of all that shit that would like fall into place if that happened. True. So yeah, I told you we were looking for it. But the choice that you made, not you're forced into. Right. Still. Okay. Still accurate premonition. Which yeah. means we go back into the caves. 
I don't know. Going back to the cave is going to have us on that. I mean, I think we would travel to Crystallis, right? Because we'd need to talk to Evelyn or something. Or I would just we would, out. yeah. So we would figure out, get a lead from Bart, maybe tomorrow morning. The best way to find him. So we'll voice of God since you're again. This is the exact opposite of the cliff. If your concern is the spying from the capital, building good relationships with the candles, like Evelyn, is a good choice. So that's what we're thinking. We're thinking that Clyde is kind of like, now that we have the information from Bart, he is kind of like a linchpin that would give us a lot of what everyone wants. So he would give us royal renown that Ben kind of wants to make sure to dis or to change the social aspect, which is maybe more par- paramount in his mind than just healing everyone that comes in. This you know like uh, drop in the bucket. Mm-hmm. Rune would get access to fun we'd get a lot of probably funds or some sort of reward or something like that so he could continue his research and experiment and he probably could get royal whatever for experimenting that he wanted Laurentia gets the same Clyde I get everyone in the group that's happy and I like Just, it's a lot of wins and so yeah so that's how could this plan possibly fail well <laughs> yes that's adventure just right. kidding it's, so it's, it's, I'd say Fantastic. So okay, that, so the meter stick of when Bart's return was pizza was ordered. Pizza was ordered. <laughs> Bart's returns. Bart returns. Yes. I can fancy. Um, he returns. I did. Just, <laughs> just, just fucking add a Z. How how, uh, how many people do you, do you have in your tent right now? How many people are in that tent? Um, well, we can support eight. I'd say at any given time, you've got eight and you've got several people lining out, like trying to buy new iPhones outside of it. Three or five of them. So, okay, so what, how about we do something where we take the people that we can that are able to walk or we get a cart of some sort and move people to the outpost and all the way to the outpost, you heal them. So they are kind of like, well, you know, Ben healed us. And then they could set up at well, the outpost and have a new start. Well, I would. I think that's a great plan. If Bart could draft up a contract to just confirm that they stay with us. Again, we're trying to keep this quiet and healing people. Well, I mean, Bart's now back with you, so you can go back to him. I, I am sort of dressing this to him. Okay, so like you so want to draft? You want to enlist people? Yes. Um, and while some people may not be. Uh, Interested in joining the company, I believe curing them of nethocyte poisoning may be a very influential uh, chip to play. Do you feel, and he strokes his wiry beard, do you feel like that would be a breach of ethics, signing under duress? Someone's about to die. They'll sign anything. It would be proposed after the matter, not prior. Sort of as a, uh, I saved your life now, please work for me. Okay, <laughs> but it would, yeah. we would we so, would you know we would let, give them. Oh, sorry. Let okay. me ask you a very different question then. This is just specifically to Kenton. It's like I hear you saying. I'm assuming you're going to heal them with this magical new method that you found that they have witnessed. What if they say no? Say no to what? To your enlistment. It's like I realize that there is some very difficult decisions to make when it comes to life, but. Let's just be hypothetical. The, sp- the most pessimistic spectrum. You heal someone. You don't know anything about them. You heal them, they're better. You say, we'd like to hire you on for whatever position that we have available. They say no. They have now witnessed this. They wouldn't know how or why. But they would know you. They're never going to forget you. You saved their life. Well, there's ways around that. Yeah, money. Just like the... Tavern wench, and that I'm looking after right now. It's true. I mean, Ben, you have. This is your call, buddy. I, he, I turned to Ben. Ben, you've done a great service to me. I trust you. If this is something that you want, I'm willing to put my faith in you, and the faith in humanity. Hold off on wholesale healing for a while. To heal these people and propose what you are. 
propose to them what we have discussed here. If you are willing to soldier on, so to speak, and look to the greater good, it would be safer for us, but I will do what you feel is right and what you feel you need to do because you have shown me trust and I will put that trust back in you. How many time is this on this? Well, we'd like to move quickly. Um, so if you would the, by tomorrow or? Would the addition of eight to 10 men or women cause additional paperwork in the morning? No, most of all. The way that the license works, that and as long as you don't start hiring a town of people under 50, we should be fine. And honestly, let those sort of things be my headache. That's what I'm doing for you. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll have an answer, buddy. Um, room would also require a cart. A cart? I don't know if you need a cart, man. Carts, um, it's going to cost at least gold. <laughs> How many cards do you want? Uh, yeah, you want uh, Yeah, I'm going Bajillion to cards? research materials on various things that we can't. I'm process. fucking with you, man. Of course, we'll let you apart. That, that sounds like me. Bart has very dry humor. <laughs> he's a bit sassy. He is. He's a sassy man with glasses. So, Laurentia, you've been. As I realize, I'm one of the few people. <laughs> you've been sort of quiet during this time. I do have. I'm the only person <laughs> with that. With what? I realized after saying it's a sassy month glasses that everyone here wears glasses but me. Somebody got laser surgery. I got LASIK, yeah. Anywho, <laughs> back to in character. I need that money for a 3D printer. Okay. Fuck yeah. yeah. Back to in character. Somebody's got a laser surgery and it's crazy. In character, Lorencia. I'm trying. His name is Brandon and he lives in the Can we go? <laughs> You, you're welcome to leave whenever. So it seems like we'll, we'll, we'll adjourn in the morn at the Market Square. Kids, when I'll leave this box to you. I hand it to Mark. Did you bring back the other box? I take I'll, that. I'll take out, yeah. So he does a switcheroo with you. And where should I meet with Krell? Krell? No, just, just meet with me in the Market Square um, and be prepared to. Decline. Krell's offer. Okay. If he even offers it to you. Gotcha. I will go back to my homestead and wish you all well and see you in the morning. Cool. I know you're going to your tent and then to sleep. Oh, shit. Before we go, do you have a suggestion on where we would start looking if we needed to? find this Clyde character? Uh, I do. But I feel with all that we've encountered today, we could talk about it in the morning. Cool. All right. I'm out. Okay, so except to you. I have my own things that I need to take care of. Okay. I'm going to be going back to the library in my research location and Starting to pull my materials and <laughs> I'm totally not embezzling stuff from. <laughs> Don't mind me. I am morally it's flexible. It's definitely fine. Uh, ten status report. Ten status report. You have. You have nine people. So you've got one person who's just like outside dying on the streets. Dying on the streets. There is your standard people. You're not the person that works there. Um, just, you know, trying to make them as comfortable, like hospice care. Do the healers stay there every night? Um, yeah, more or less. They have their own cots. They use cots. They don't believe the bullshit about being poisoned because they haven't died yet. So anyone outside? Uh, any healers outside? Outside? No. They're all inside the tent trying to tend to people. Any, anyone else in the streets? Or is it just one poor? Just the one guy who's, like, leaning against the tent, just slowly dying. Sitting on the street, dying. Do you um, No, he's asleep. He's, it's like 10 or 11 now. Previously, did we have a... I don't know we experimented. Were we able to cure at the site without direct contact of the crystals? It's very inefficient. Inefficient, but possible. 
without using the, the nullicite. No, oh, sorry, without, with, without with the with the nullicite. Without stabbing them. Without stabbing them. You can, you were able to, and you only attempted the experiment with people who were mildly affected. Like everyone's exposure level. And you used a rock, like, um, yeah. like rock massage. What are you doing? Dying people! Outside your tent! Does this uh, person have any wounds, like open wounds? No. Although his showing symptoms where he's like very pallid. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to make a little string. You're gonna make. You're going to pull out a little bit of nullsite and cool. Roll sleight of hand. <laughs> Fourteen total. Okay. So take a, a nullsite shard. You're able to make a syringe. You're gonna do the same thing. Um, so for yeah. effect, so how subtle this is, there's no um, visual cue of what you're doing. It is literally the difference of you taking a syringe to someone and just putting it over it and then focusing. It pulls out like pulling out a poison. I will wake the person up. I'll say, uh, I will press the digitation, a very strong medical smell, Ugh. and I'll hand him my potion of healing, say, here, drink this. He will help. Take the potion of elevation. And as he sips, I will syringe, use healing hands to extract as much of that as I can. He drinks, his, um, he drinks his potion, taking it like medicine. Um, doesn't even seem to notice like an anesthetic to the area. Um, you started to do it. You, when you previously took care of Rune, it, um, half, three, four, I suppose a recent infection, you start drawing out and the entire crystal becomes Nethsite. You're now holding a Nethsite crystal. But he seems better. You don't have any Is there any way for me to gauge the, um, the progress as far as to early to Uh, he's I will wrap that shard up in my robes and I will walk to the city gates. And I walk up oh. take it to Captain. He has a box that put it. No. <laughs> You're not there. You're not there. Well you'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. I'm this is fine. Um, and yeah, I am. Um, are there? Yeah, I'm gonna have to just go to city gates. I'm just gonna have to look out. Okay. And, uh, so you're you're a healer, a man of the cloth. Um, the guards don't seem that suspicious at, at roughly midnight that a healer is going to the gates. Uh, I forgot. Uh, the gates. Publicly accessible at night. Um, the one that's close to uh, they they are. I took it away. Um, they are accessible. Like you can leave at night. They don't shut the gates at night. That said, plenty of guards. <laughs> As I'm walking up to the gate, I think of. Oh, Walk back to the mine and fence. And uh, I'll find the nearest guard and uh, I will flick him a shard of nethocyte. Is that a gesture of niceness or are you throwing poison at him? I'm throwing poison at him. Okay. <laughs> but I will flick it onto the ground and say, one of these poor souls tracked us in. Please take care of it. So where are you when you do this? At the mine entrance. So the first set, essentially the first checkpoint. Okay, so you go to the, the entrance, okay. And you yes. flick, you, okay, Just, cool. Oh, shard of sight. So cool. we'll try this in. Roll sight of hand. No, he wants them to well, see. I, I, yeah, but you're doing it being like, oh, it's totally not me. 
So you're doing sleight of hands. No, too. Like he, oh no, yeah. no, I am. I am saying this oh. was tracked in by one of these guys, oh. and I don't want it in my cool. tent. Roll persuasion then. <laughs> Seventeen. He's like, good God, man! What are you doing, holding on onto it like that? I'll be all right. He's Shake like, he's like, just stay right there. Just he, like you're a leper. Just stay right there. Just put it, put it somewhere. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just drop it on the ground. And he he, he scatters off. And he comes back with a dwarf. <laughs> it's the same dwarf. It's the dwarf wolf. <laughs> he's. Ah. It's, take Tong, Tong, puts it in a small box, closes the box, walks away with it, doesn't think much of it. Uh, I'll go back to my tent, resume my duties for the night. Okay. You tend to people. Um, do you do a, this, a similar activity with any of the others? As there are currently, hmm, at least six of them are suffering from severe enough side poisoning and will not make the night. I, Dawn comes. Whoa. Oh, wait, I'm still doing it. Wait, are we doing that? No, just this. Yeah. Cool. So, I imagine a, a fine brandy and it's good night for, for Kenton. You're stealing. I'm not stealing. You're liberating knowledge. You've taken care of the sick. You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lorencia, you have a provisional licensed paper with you. Which is like, I imagine it's like, it's like, Lilu Dallas Multipass? <laughs> Multi pass. I got a card. Multi pass. <laughs> I have a library card. And, and you have a very irritated uh, note on a leash. Right. So she wants to take him off of the leash. You just got in the middle of. Well, no. So she wants to go out into the woods and get a raven so she can contact Evelyn. Sure. The question she about five. Okay. So you are going to leave out the closest oh. gates, probably seeing. Yeah, it's out for delivery. Yeah, pizza. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So you're going towards the nearest gate. And going to go walk out. Okay. Get, get to Upraven. So, so that's what we're saying. Leaving with it. Because you have been saved. Okay. Um, the guards seem particularly lax this shift. They do not harass you on the way out. Um, so I'm going to go out, get everybody to contact Evelyn, and then I'm also going to hunt for um, Note so that he can eat. Okay, so... She doesn't typically eat, but she also realizes he's... As we are, as we are sightseeing, so we'll fast forward a bit. Is you reach the, the gates, the guards are very lax. They do not harass you as you leave with an exotic beat. that you're like, multi-pass. Okay. Constantly. Multi-pass. Um, multi-pass. As a shepherd... You have no problem summoning your own fucking raven and sending a raven out. Um, and you spend how much the evening you want to spend hunting? Like, what exactly? Explain to me this hunting process you're doing at midnight. Um, more of she realizes that Note does need to hunt. Yes. Or to, and to eat. He is a carnivore, so while she can survive off of plants and not have to kill things, she needs to kill things that he's been stuck inside a cave for chance to do that. So she kind of want to, she wants to do some mentoring with Note. Do some uh, Note's not having any of it, and you start being like, this is how you kill things, and he just lays down. And he's like, I have eaten enough today, and I'm taking a nap. Okay, well then she's going to... <laughs> Uncle Kenton might have given him some snacks. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> snacks for days. He has eaten so many spider legs. He's like, I want to teach you how to hunt. He's like, I want to teach you how a cat sleeps. Okay, so then she's going to take the harness off of him so he doesn't feel like he's in a harness. That's good for you. He's starting to gnaw it. Yeah. He's just like... I'm sure he does not like it. And um, she will... If, if he's, Is he falling asleep? Yeah, he, he found a nice place in the wilderness, like, enough that he can see the fires of Duodecim, and he's just like, cool, I'm going to sleep here. Okay. She is going to trance next to him because she wants to talk to um, all she knows. Okay, you trance. You are trancing next to your gigantic fucking cat. It's fine. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. Dance, 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 dance. 
<laughs> so uh, she wants to talk to Altina and let her know because I don't think she's talked to her since the you talked to the long rest, right? Which happened before or after the water conversation? Uh, fuck. Um, it happened before the water conversation. So she, yeah, she's not talked to her since. Okay. So she wants to let them know that you know, definitely Clyde alive. Okay. Um. Time check since 11 o'clock, we'll, I'll take a bunch of that offline, but more or less outcome of that, she's very content with the results, okay. and she's going to continue her investigations in Zontorel regarding uh, Portal. She's got several, as it's great that you've done this in a day, but she can't travel that fast. Yeah, we always say that. Cool. So you've done that, you've transacted, you're spending the rest of the evening. Uh, well, she still needs, I mean, at, at that point, I think she's tired, so she'll do the full four hours of a trance. You are trance dance. Day, so. Trance dance. So then, if Note is still asleep when she wakes up, she'll just be back near him watching over. Gotcha. Well, no one wants to fuck with this place of beast in the forest at the moment. Not that far. Okay, cool. Dawn. Go to the market square. Go to the market square. With my box. The Nethicide box? It's already been um, sold out. The small one? Yeah. Oh, so they, it's already been taken care of? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. it, so cool. All you have to do is so basically when you oh, left, you yeah. were handing it in. Uh, they can't leave a re basically reactive material into the city, so they have a place for it. Gotcha. But you're saying this is my hall. Okay, so go on square. And I get a breakfast burrito on the way. A breakfast burrito? Oh, yeah. I was we'll call that a duodecim wawa. <laughs> Just noting, I also grabbed books on the Seven Hells, the Abyss, Devils, the Drow, etc. Okay, cool. Um, send that the more advanced list to me in Skype, but you're gathering um, knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Status of the person outside who I tend to be there. He doesn't appear to be there anymore when, in the morning. It's good or bad? Um, well, the, the car hasn't come for the bodies because six people have died every night. Gotcha. That's bad. Two people are still alive. So is it silver lining? Can we, can't see them all. Definitely can't. Okay. Um, just check the contents of the bag with the quartz. Make sure it's not been disturbed in any way. The what? I, I have the bag of the quartz. Okay, you have the quartz currently? Just making sure that it's not been fucked with. The bag has not been fuckered with. You're basically like a little rope attached to your arm in a matter or something Great. like that. <laughs> okay. Um, then yes, I will proceed to the square. Go. I'll need to keep going. Um, if she goes in the square without um, Note on a harness, will it cause people to yes. flip shit? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like a panther. Would you be okay with a panther with that leash? No. Yes. Okay. Well, you will. How about this is the <laughs> democratic thing? The majority probably would not. You are. Look at it. He just wants to run free and kill things. The second part that everyone has a problem with. <laughs> so she's going to, once Noto wakes up, and okay, we have to put the harness back on, but it won't be for a short amount of time. Only while we're in the city. Okay. So you're going to go to the guards, a completely different ship of guards, into the city as an elf. With the display, the splicer beast. Oh. She has to go back into the square. <laughs> we will. See. Well, we had four party members. We <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, apparently we did. We get four. Yeesh. As the fates may have it, you approach a similarly lax <laughs> set of guards. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's like. I mean, multi pass. <laughs> multi pass. Clearly, multi bestial pass. It's just multiple legs there. Looks like, yeah, sure, buddy. It's not gonna get paid enough. Is it gonna eat me? No. Maybe. Maybe. So we concerned? It's multi pass. So at that point, they're like, no way again. Sounds like 12 crushers, man. <laughs> not everyone is of quality cloth. <laughs> okay, market square. Market Square. So, the Market Square normally is a very busy site because, hey, look, market. 
the morning especially as new goods are being brought in. However, there's a lot of there's a lot of difference going on in the square. You normally see merchants here. Occasionally you'll see things like bards or you know, performers doing things. Carnivals will be set up here. But um, you've got what can be best described as a over eight foot tall uh, dragonborn, which are rare races, much like Tifa. Um, silver scales. And this purple and white armor. Did you have the image for Tifa? I do. Yeah. Have you seen uh, the anime Berserk? Huh? Berserk. Have you seen that? I, the anime? Yes. Uh, a little bit. But the purple rhino knights are there. That's all I'm thinking of right now. So he looks like this. Only he has silver white scales. Yeah. And he is wearing purple and white armor. Majestic as fuck. Like, one might see. Um, so, Kent, when we get this, he's like, one might see that that is parade armor. What a little bitch. Except for the fact he's got so much fucking scratches on. He's like, no, he wears that into combat. Uh, you, I see, what would be considered parade armor. Parade armor is not something you wear in combat. That's like, cool, that's way too heavy. You couldn't move around in that. You just kind of walk on a horse with this. You say it's called what armor? Parade armor? Parade armor, gotcha. Parade armor looks fancy as fuck, but you don't charge in combat. It's not practical, you get winded. It's very heavy. Um, Kenton's would detect that not only is it all that, but it's seen wear. So like is... combat wear. Why would I know why he would do that? Like, uh, because he wants to look good when he's killing people. Is this he's a proud? Is this a statement of arrogance as much as it is strength? Both, because it is very heavy. Plate armor is very heavy. Like the average person cannot just be like, "Cool, I'm a plate wielder." Where like, now you have you need fifteen strength? <laughs> <laughs> you have issues moving around. <laughs> Like the puppies are learning how to be seeing eye dogs, and you put the vest on them, but first they just fall on their backs if they can't move. They don't understand. So he is surrounded by a legion of uh, similarly dressed uh, purple and white people, and they're all race and creed. You've got half elves, you've got humans, you've got dwarves, um, you've got half orcs. They're very um, sharp, military, like they're in complete formation. As he stands, and he looks out to the crowd, and he says, Today, we march north to Zantarel to forge new alliances for a new world together. It will require strength, courage, and the common man. We have several people who are willing to join with us, and you hear cheers as most of the prominent mercenary companies, including Carl's Pressures, in the background are just throwing down their, their coats of arms that they have taken years to establish as brands. See, we have the many at our side. Who wishes to join us today? We will accept any who are strong, smart, and willing to fight for a better tomorrow. I assume we're lost amongst the crowd. Yeah, you're just in the crowd, like Mr. Ace. And you know, Bart will um will find Kenton quickly. He's like such bullshit. He's drinking. I don't like most of the drunks you've met. He just he drinks and he's just completely fine. That's just his person. That's just his thing. He's always like having a drink sometimes. It's like because the world hurts his fucking head. Do we have to be here? He passes a drink to you. He's like, yeah, we, we kind of do. It's posterity. Just wait for it. Just fucking, there's going to be a shoe drop. So you will have, in character, a little bit of time, but you'll eventually, if you want to, find Kenton and Bart. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm looking out for. Just trying to find, because we agreed to be here. So. so some crowd surfing, like a bad concert. You're short. Food's here if you want to. Food? Car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, I'm assuming that they all has very little say on the matter for the time being. Market pizza? Market pizza's making its way. Did you want to, are you going to meet at this party too, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So um, you see in like droves the the, the uh, mercenary groups just making their way over and just signing an game behind them, game behind them. And they start a parade out of the city, waving out. As I see Krell's crushers like walk by, I kind of take my insignia, and put it on the ground and step on it. <laughs> ah, it feels better. It's like posterity, buddy. You don't want you want to burn bridges on the way out. I was like, it's like, fucking. Bart throws out his thing. I was like, he looks at Krell on the way out, but they don't seem like they hate each other on the way out. They kind of like give this, ben, what are you doing? Ben, ben, look at each other. I could go to go home. Ben. Yeah. Break my little ben, string necklace. Ben, ben, ben. <laughs> it's like, I want to be on this too. Yeah. They're going to throw a book at the ground? Fuck my necklace. Go lay down. No. no, he's like, ben, I like my stuff. Yeah. Like, my things are nice. You can throw your things on the ground. I'm not doing so. Why are we doing this? I'm no longer a member of Crow's Pressures. Go Shit. Home. <laughs> it's like, I need these! I have rest of it's, it's only Tuesday! <laughs> Mending. Oh, okay. Mend it. Clean it. Good. So, okay. Bart. Uh, watches them all go and the market square begins to sparks out. People are so fucking stupid. I say we're it's glad to be rid of them. Honestly, I didn't know many of the companies, but they're joining that guy. Which he did look strong for him. It's like so Bart starts starts work walking. Um, and he talks to that. It's like, well, it's all politics, it's Ben. Politics. Why do people think he's so great? Well, depending on what you believe, uh, Targaryus has helped found the majority of civilized Crystallis. They believe to be the bloodline of a great dragon. The, the name alone carries weight. They're what? If you believe what they say, to be associated with that, take the lady who's coming with us, by the way, the lady you rescued. If you went and told her as a Kalok, you are worthless. Let's just be frank. You're, you grew up in squalor, you're going to die in squalor. But you can be part of something great, and all you have to do is sign your name. I can see that. And it might not be something in their generation, but think about how many room, right? How many generations of your family? At some point in time, one of you was just a gnome. Not a scholar, not anything special. You got born into it. For some people, that chance is all they need to hear. Again, they're stupid. We make a, a better name for our company. Yeah. And he, well, I'll be quite honest. I got uh, I got high hopes. Enough to not go with him. So let's let's do this. Well, I I think we've all decided we'll be setting up here in the city. Okay. Not in the outpost. I mean. Whoop. Whoop. Way Excuse me. I was up late last night. Are you are you right there? But the idea was to start off in the outpost and Makes extend sense. into the city once we've gained capital. You well, mean, wait, what, what, did, what did you say? That's just a lot of wounded last time. A lot of sick. Pretend. <laughs> there will be plenty of opportunity to heal more. No, I need to be, I need to be sure because I've been talking to a couple landowners today. Are we getting a place in the city? Or do you want a place in the outpost? The outpost for yeah. now. <laughs> Possible expansion later. Well, which my go. Fortunately, it's predictive. Krell took all your money from the minor box. Major box, we have enough to get a place. Why the other? And you said we had 3,000 to split between three? And 3,000. Okay. So. Well, who? So 750 each. Well, it works between resources. 
So he takes out a bag of 3,000 gold, pretty, pretty good one. He hands it over to, to Kenton. It's like, roll one. Figure out how you're giving out your resources. Give me your bag. Here we go, bye. What is it? Oh, shit. So, for the first amount, I said we would have equal share, so everyone should get equal share of this. Um, but for the next, I would say that we earmark 10% of anything that we gain together for the outpost. I can't say I'm one for finances, so I'll take your word. And then he gives you a small box. Like, personal funds. That's brown. Um, so I give everybody... I didn't count them, I just gave them. It's, it's role playing! <laughs> it's actually a bag of gold! Is that how you see me? <laughs> well, see, I got two silvers. I shoot all of them and take all of them. <laughs> and next, for the winter do. session. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good ass pizza. Uh, it's extra on. cheese. Right. So, the procession of the uh, Tetagarius. And a bunch of well armed individuals make their way out of the city. Could you uh, say farewell to. I didn't need to. Bart said everything I needed to. What did you have? And I'm glad for it because I couldn't understand the guy. He didn't say nice things. I think our, our work here is done. Let's. I think we should make preparations for the outpost. Provisions and whatnot. I would like to. Is that something you would do, Bart, or is that something we should take care of? Yeah. I'll take care of it. Okay. I'd also like to get uh, ammunition and rations for myself before we leave the city. Well, the supply wagon. So we'll make sure there's enough for everyone to get there. <laughs> It'll uh, be a couple days' journey down the road. Uh, be sure to reach out to the, the slave woman and her brother. He, he already got oh, oh, She's coming with us. She's coming with us. I don't trust her. I don't either. Excuse me, she is or is not coming? She's going with us. Oh, great. She's way too much for liability. Though, anyway. Well, also, we're, we're helping her. Let's <laughs> we're employing her. She'll have a job. Yeah, she can read, that's useful. She uh, I don't know. I was not sure about it. We inherited her. Appropriate analogy. Well, I assume it'll take some time to organize everything before we leave. Mm -hmm. Well, probably about an hour or two. Been working enough since morning. It's either going to a warehouse here or an outpost out there. You guys got a couple hours to kill. I'll see you at the gates. What to do um, before we go? Learn to let you know that she'll be out in the woods waiting right uh, past the gates when you guys are ready. She wants to get Nante out of the harness as soon as she can. Hmm. There's something to do with it. We are in the market. We are in the market. <laughs> yeah, your final opportunity to do anything really weird in the city. Anything really weird in a city? Mm -hmm. You have money you now. Would I know of any um, like shops that specialize in crossbows or armor? Mm -hmm. You know where there's crossbows. You know there's armor, like armory and um, weaponry shops. Yeah. I'll go to one that has 
the best goods that I know of. Okay. Highest quality goods. And they might be outside your price range. What are you trying to get? shoot for? Uh, plus two to archery prices. Can take care of it. That's great. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I say that? I'm oh, sorry. Um, uh, can I say that Laurencia, because she realizes that she will not be in a city, she doesn't like it, but she's in here and people aren't being too annoying to her. Um, she'll shop for something that we can talk on Skype or in person to see if. So let's go ahead and fast forward these the next hour or two. Take it to Skype for your uh, shopping lists. Okay. Okay. So you're now currently at the gates with whatever you've purchased. Take care of up on. You'll see Bart at the gate setting up in a very caravan formation. So he's got a supply cart. Um, several people with him, one of which being the woman. So, this is the wilderness. Laurentia, this is your home, not mine. Um, would you do us the honor of sort of meeting, scouting the party to our destination? Sure. One thing I may have purchased might come in, won't play this uh, riding dog. You want to mount? Well, yeah, I mean, we're riding out here. Sure. You get, I'll get your riding puppy. <laughs> but it's a caravan, though, right? It's not just, yeah, so it's not like, okay. Oh, wait, we're in a caravan? I didn't know caravan, like so it's multiple. Okay, yeah. I thought we had, like, one wagon. No, no. Like, a caravan is a, a series of wagons that are going out with similar destination. Okay, so if we're doing a caravan, I'm not worried about it right now. So much of caravans, they go out, they head out in the morning. <laughs> Ish. Yeah, Would so, Bart be able to procure mounts for us? If you want them. I'm yeah. content to ride in the cart if there's more than one cart. I yeah. don't think we want to have the overhead having to take care of horses now unless they could be returned with the wagons. Well, could we stable them at the outpost? That's what I'm saying. That's more costs. You need to board them in operation. But you could absolutely purchase if you're afterwards. It's just it's okay. more money that I don't think we should sustain at this point. Okay. Sound advice. Okay. Continuing forward. I just don't know a lot of about finances, though. Yeah, I thought we were walking, so that's why we just Yeah, um, effectively, you're either walking or you're in the, um... Caravan. Or you're in the caravan, so, or in the cart. Well, a wagon. Oh, it's being drawn by cart. What the... Yeah, the horses. I'll be in a wagon. Well, if you have a riding dog, you're on the dog. I think he's holding nothing in the ride dog until Yeah, I was... Future. Let's say this. We'll take that to Skype whether you have to mount or not, but you're currently in the caravan. Okay. okay. Let's assume that for the time being, you're either not using your mounts, or you don't have a mount. Okay. Sweet. All right, so you guys are going to the outpost? Mm -hmm. yeah. So time check, you're currently at 11.24. And it's a three-day thing, so that'll be a lot of traveling and stopping. Do we want to just pause here and start at going to the outpost next session? I think this is a good stopping point, for sure. Okay. Cool. So we do have 30 questions. Are there any questions you want to take out? Like we can take care of now shopping and whatnot too. So you want to take, you want uh, braces of archery you said? Is that something I don't even know how much they cost? Um, I'll have to double check. I would like say a plus one crossbow. You know, just something that ups my stats. Do you want another piece of pizza? I do. Great. And I'm going to go ahead and kill up. the screen. Cool. So. How many people were watching? Um, 